Hey, bro, Conky. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, this was kind of like impromptu. Um, I, I meant to like send out some notes saying that I was going to be doing this, and then I completely forgot. So I'm going to do that now. Give me two seconds. Hopefully I can uh, get in here and do a post. Hey, Ethan. How's it going? Uh, you have to bear with me a moment here. I'm just doing the um, sending things out to people, you know, uh, notifications and what have you. Uh, we should probably put a link. Uh, publish that. Perfect. Just missing the mana drain. You got an extra extended art vamp tutor and a pack foil jeweled lotus. Nice. And then you bought the normal scroll rack. Yeah, that's sweet, man. That's awesome. That sounds like you had some pretty sweet luck. My luck, on the other hand, not not so much. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't that good, right? Like, I, I opened some good stuff. Don't get me wrong. But I didn't open uh, that many good things. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that, 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 that. That looks good. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. One of those. Seems good. I'm just getting the last few things here set up. Uh, so bear with me uno momento. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Perfect. Oh, I know what I didn't do. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hey, BT Game Night. How's it going? For those of you who don't know who BT Game Night is, uh, another great commander creator. Um, I got to play some games, or a game, with him uh, last week uh, over on... Who was that? Who, whose channel was that? It was my channel. It was on It was on my channel. You were, uh, you were Tuck's guest uh, from Tuck from Commander, uh, Command Tower. So, uh, if you're unfamiliar, great, uh, great little uh, YouTube channel over there doing Commander gameplay and what have you. So go check out BT Game Night for sure, especially if you're into Commander. Hey, Eric, how's it going? Um, I know what I forgot to do, and now you'll get to all see me do it live. Are you ready? Um, so I will do that. Oh, I'm not done. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. I got to post in a bunch of other places too, don't I? Uh, live, grab, grab bags. Live now. Camera up in three, two, one. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, at everyone. And I mean, the only reason I don't have the camera live is because I'm, I got my keyboard in the way. I mean, I can just I can just do this. There, see? And now you can see my beautiful, my beautiful keyboard. Um, so there's that. And then uh, we need to tweet it out, right? Twitter.
Tweety. Tweet Twitter. Twitted. Wave to your happy audience. Hello, Corbin. Hello. Welcome. So the other thing that I forgot to do... Uh, do I have... Okay. I have everybody... Look, I, look, you can tell that this is like super impromptu. I'm like not even... I've been racing around since about 1 p.m. It's now 5 p.m. Trying to get this organized. Like, get the more cards into the blue sleeves. Fill out this box here. Like, get, this, get the rows back up to, you know, not being like uh, completely depleted from last time. And what I forgot to do was add in the lands. Forgot to add in the lands. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Can we add all mountains? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah, we can do that. What was that? Seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so for those of you wondering what the heck I'm doing here, um, these... are the booster packs that people can pull out of the bulk pile. Look at this, this Sharpie is like toast. Let's get another Sharpie in here. That's better, eh? Boom. There we go. Got there. Everyone, please, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button down below. Oh, well, I appreciate that, BT. I really do. Hey, Father Frodo. Ho, ho, ho to you, too. Uh, so, merry holiday times for everybody. That's what I like to say. Blessed be your days or whatever. Uh, you know, or I hopefully you enjoy the time off work if you have any, and if not, I hope you enjoy the overtime pay that whoever is employing you should be paying you for working said holidays. Um, if you don't, uh, you know, uh, view the holidays, then I hope you just enjoy your December. I hope you enjoy your December. Um, yeah, we're just getting started. You haven't missed anything. You haven't missed anything. In fact, you're here, you're seeing behind the scenes things happening right now. Things that I don't normally do while I'm streaming the grab bags because I forgot to do them before we started. So this, here are the 10 booster packs we're going to be adding to the bulk pile. So you're going to get to see how I do that momentarily here. Are you ready? So what I do is I get these here. See these? See these beautiful things? All right. So this is how I do this. I just grab a pile of cards. I slide in some dividers, like so. I take one of these cards. I shuffle it in. So now I have no idea where that is. This goes back in here like so. Bam. Look at that. See? Easy peasy. I grab another pile like so. I slide in some dividers. I take one of these and I shuffle it in. And I can even like here, I'll shuffle it face up and then maybe you'll see it go by. Well, they see there's another one. There's a, did you see that? There's a blue one in this pile. I saw it. Yeah, like I'm boxing the cards now. Because I'm trying too hard to, like, show off. So, like, here, like, look. When you see those basic lands, see that? Oh, there's one. Right? Blue. Where'd the red one go? There it is. See? So there's two in this pile. One from last time and one from this time. You'd love to know this collection. This is the patron pile box, or the patron grab bag box. Um, it is the box that I put together, uh, pff, man, how long ago did I put this box together? Uh, I would say, like, I put this box together, like, maybe a year ago? Two, no, two, it's gotta be two years ago now. Maybe almost three years ago? Um, so, shuffle it in, put it in like this, right? There it is. It's now mixed in. 
There you go. See? Right in the middle there somewhere. I don't know what that sound that what that sound is, but it's unfortunate for me. So then this goes right back in here like this. See? We pull these out. And the only reason I use two sets of dividers is just so that I can keep an I like an idea. I like to put a little bit of a gap, right? Between where I'm putting them. So close to sixteen hundred subs? Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. What do we what do we uh what do we got here? We got we need one more on this side? Okay. So shuffle this up. So yeah, so the reason I like to use two sets of dividers is because then I can put a little bit of a gap in between where the last one went and where the next one's going, um, like visibly, right? Like I can I can see it visually without being too worried about it. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I really um, so you guys are seeing the behind the scenes, and then when I get really lazy, I just like throw the lands in. Do you know what I mean? Like I just like jam them into the box. But this is normally how I like to add them. Um, and since I figured, you know, like, hey, we're, we're doing this live, we might as well do it, right? Come out of there. Huh? Why you gotta be like this? There, there you go. There you go. Right, and then I can put this back in here, like so. And then I can, like, take this one out because, like, this stuff's getting out of hand. Oh, look, oh, look, look, this is gonna end up... Ah! Oh, I'm just knocking everything over. Ah! Ah! There we go, right? Shuffle the last one in. Well, did that? Where did that go? Where did that? Did uh, uh All right, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't the land card. I guess. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't know where it ended up. I thought it fell like in between here, but I don't see it. Eh, whatever. So that goes in there like that. That goes in there like that. Goes in there like that. Boom. All right, and we just like do the same thing over here. Let's grab a pile of cards out of there. We'll speed up the process here a bit. All right, put two in here. Grab another pile out. Right. This will let me shuffle stuff in a little bit easier. So this pile here. Hello, no names in yours as well. Yes, thank you, BT, for welcoming them. See, BT's welcoming all of you to chat uh, for me, and I'm that's so I'm slacking. I'm slacking. I apologize, everyone. And of course, those of you who are out there who know uh, who who I am and what I'm about. I, I did this wrong, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> we've ma we've made a gap now. There. Okay, so that's fine. We need to shuffle one into this pile. Um, know that, like, it's Christmas, right? It's holiday season, December. So, um, just like last year, I did something a little special this year for the patrons. Um, and uh, we will show that off once we get past this part of the video series, which is the behind-the-scenes Look at me, prep the grab bag box. Do you do you guys out there, do the patrons, do you guys like seeing this process? Do you like seeing me, like, prep the box and talk about how I'm prepping it and all that kind of stuff? Like, I'm just curious. Do you know what I mean? Like, is that a thing? Like, you enjoy this part of this process? Because if so, like, I can continue to do this. Yes? Okay. Okay. I like seeing bloopers. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Chuck Wagon Man, how's it going? Unpacked is here as well, and Jonathan, welcome everybody. Uh, all of my streams, all of my streams, BT are totally unscripted. In fact, let's be honest, um, all of my videos, everything I upload to YouTube is unscripted. Nothing is scripted, um, <laughs> and my my viewers can attest to this. Uh, they know, they know. They're like, hey, Mr. B's off his friggin' rocker again. He's uh, saying things that are very strange. Uh, and you're not wrong. I do say strange things. I do, I do say strange things. Phil! How's it going? 
Yeah, I mean, like, I started earlier than I was expecting to. Uh, just, you know what? And I just, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm just going to start early and see how it goes. Right? Like, that's that's basically what it came down to. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start early. And, hey. Sometimes it gets really weird. Yeah. So, um, BT, you you probably missed it. Um, one of my viewers, uh, Maholnik, sent me, like, a birthday gift back in July. Um, and he did it through an LGS here uh, in Ontario. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> one of the instructions for when I was opening the birthday gift was I had to have drinks on hand. Uh, like, like a beer and stuff. So instead of a beer, because I don't really drink beer, um, I had just like a bottle of whiskey at the side of my desk and I was just doing shots uh, all stream. It was, it got a little out of hand. It was, it was, it was a little out of hand. Oh man, a hundred rubles. I don't know what that equals, but thank you very much, Father Frodo. You are... Funny money super chat. Oh man, I thought I thought the Canadian Canadian dollars are supposed to be the funny money though, right? To the, to Americans, I guess. I mean, so like I mean, like rubles are even funnier money, right? To 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 us over here in North America. By the way, can I just say? Can I just say? Let's just talk about something, frankly, for a moment, and that is that. You remember the holiday boxes that came out when uh, Return to Ravnica was around? And then, like, they did one... I think they did one for Return to Ravnica. Maybe that was the only one they did. Did they do... They did Return to Ravnica, and then I think they did another one after that for the next set? I think it was a green box. Was it a Theros? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, can I just say that these plastic dividers that came, like, not this one, but, like, these plastic dividers that came in those Ravnica, like, this is, like, heavy-duty, hard plastic, and these are great! I really wish that they did more of these! Like, how, like, why not? They're so good! They're, like, beautiful, full art, like, like the art cards that they're printing now are just cheap versions of these! They're just cheap versions of these. Like, do this. Do this more. Do do this more. I want more of these. And the light's like super blinding. I gotta turn over the I gotta turn off the overhead light. That's my problem here. That's my problem here. Ready? Ready? Who's ready to see a vast difference in how this looks? How's that? Look at that. Look at doesn't that look so much better now that the overhead lights off? Doesn't that look just so much better now that the overhead lights off? Not all that glare coming on these things, especially on these. These are super shiny plastic and they just like glare like crazy. How does that look? That looks way better now, eh? I just I just want them to to make more of these dividers. Like they're gorgeous. And oh man, Yeah, but I mean, like, they're doing... And this is my problem. is like, they still do the bundles, right, BT? Like, they still do the bundles. Hey, Diego, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, they still do the bundles, right? But, like, the bundles are not the same. Like, you don't get the book. You don't get the... Uh, like, you don't get the book. You don't get the uh, dividers that they used to do. You don't get the deck boxes. You don't get the little booklet that has, like... All the cards in it for sorting and keeping track of your collection. Like, there's so many things that they used to do with the bundles and the fat packs that they just don't do anymore. And it's just... Eh. And don't get me wrong. I love this. I love these oversized dice. They're so much nicer. Like, here's the old school fat pack dice. Like, look at the size difference. It's, it's much nicer. Especially for, like, webcam games and stuff like these are just much better the bigger dice i'm on board with i'm on board with the bigger dice the bigger dice makes things a lot nicer easier to read from farther away they're they're great the new dice are phenomenal it's a phenomenal change to make them bigger i'm on board with this plan what i'm not on board with is all of the other things that they took away they took away a lot of stuff anyway let's 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 let i'll I digress. 
You know what? I digress. Okay, if you're if you're new here, welcome everybody. We're doing the patron grab bag pulling, and that means that we have, of course, our pile of patrons uh, who uh, were charged not just this month, but last month as well. Uh, if you are a brand new patron this month, you don't get a pull from the pile, but you do get your other rewards for the month. Um, patron pile pulls only go out to patrons who have been a patron for longer than a month. That's basically it. That's basically it. Hey, Travis, how's it going? Um, so yeah, so basically that's what this is all about. So we have, I think, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 people getting a patron pile pull, okay? Um, we did not make 50 patrons this month. We are one short. We are at 49. Uh, so there will be no bundle. For those of you curious as to what Akihiko is asking me about, um, uh, yes, Ethan, I, I'm fairly certain I put you in here. Uh, because you are a previous patron returning, so you get a pull. That is how I am handling it. Uh, I believe I put you there. See? Boom. Gotcha. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. You're at the two tier, right? I think. I'm pretty sure that that's where you are, right? I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I think we're at 49 patrons. Um, and remember, the 50 patron goal on Patreon that gives out a bundle is any patron at any level counts toward that goal. However, you have to be at one of the magic tiers to be eligible to receive a bundle every month, right? And and what that what Akihiko's asking about is we are giving away bundles... When we hit 50 patrons, each month that we're at 50 patrons or more, one patron at one of my at any of my magic tiers will get a bundle in addition to their other rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh man, I miss block magic too, BT. I miss block magic too. It's crazy. Uh, but you're going to get me on a tangent here. So um, so we've got the 40 patrons. This is the patron pile. Again, normally I build this from packs I open. As many of you know, I have been taking a bit of a hiatus from making uh, daily videos. Uh, that is to sort of deal with my own personal sanity as well as, you know, just time frames and that kind of stuff. Um, I just don't have the time for it anymore these days, unfortunately. But we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. The plan is to get back into it in the new year, um, but at a reduced capacity, uh, but doing the things that I enjoy doing for the channel, which is like the Wednesday series, which is the one of everything and or the patron pile grab bag stuff. And then probably like the Thursday shuffle will come back because I really like that series. And then the Monday series will stick around and then the Tuesday and Friday's videos will probably be kind of meh. Um, you're still somewhat sane? Um, kind of. Alright, so are you ready, everybody? It's gonna get heavy here for a minute, okay? I'm sorry, it's gonna get heavy for, for a minute here. The reason I'm taking a bit of hiatus, I'm dealing with family stuff. My father was recently diagnosed with cancer, uh, was last year. I think I've mentioned it before. Um, he had the cancer removed with surgery. Um, then he had chemo for three weeks, did some checkups and stuff just recently, got the results back. Uh, you know, I think it was back in like August, he went in for his exam. They found another section that looked cancerous. They did a biopsy. They just got the results back, like not even two weeks ago. And that was also cancerous. So now he's going through another route, you know, another bout of chemo. So I'm dealing with that. Um, things are a little hectic in my life because I'm the, I'm the only caregiver for my parents other than my parents being caregivers for themselves. So when he has to go to, you know, appointments that he can't drive to or drive home from, I'm the one that has to take him. So I have to be available to help them when I can, right? Which means I, I basically have to drop things off my schedule randomly. And yeah, it, it's, it's difficult, but we're making it through it. I'm staying strong. I appreciate everyone, your, your kind words and your thoughts and everything. But I just want to let you know where we're at. And that's why things are a little bit kind of chaotic with my upload schedule and all that kind of stuff okay so i appreciate it uh pablo i appreciate it and i appreciate it father as well um so anyway that's sort of where we're at with that anyway the patron pile is good stuff right so i added stuff to the patron pile from my personal collection again this month because 
uh, I didn't open packs, obviously, to add to the pile. Normally, this pile gets added to from the Wednesday series, where we open one of everything from LGSs in and around, you know, my area. Um, I've hit, I think, over 70 or 80 different shops over the last two years where we've bought one of every pack they have available and then opened them up and then given everything that was over a dollar away to patrons. That's basically what it comes down to. So instead, I've added things from my personal collection. So we've got like Eight and a Half Tales, Michael Off, Goblin Rabble Master, War of Invention, Dismember, uh, Hellkite Charger, Tireless Tracker, Cor- uh, Chorus of Por- Portal, Sylvan Caryatid, Molten Psyche, War of Invention, Inferno Titan, Inquisition of Kozilek, Worldfire, Cryptolith Rite, Chancellor of the Annex, Balance, Cabal Therapy. We've got a foil promo rolling regrowth we've got a foil harmonic sliver siphon mind foil reaper king uh kinjali sunwing grand architect foil uh a revised nevrinral's disc a foil angelic chorus a dawn of hope uh dragon master outcast uh undergrowth champion hanawir garrison overwhelming stampede eldritch evolution herald of pantheon uh lotus bloom fumigate forgotten ancient uh archfiend of depravity zendikar resurgent Re- relentless dead stolen strategy smuggler's copter caged sun foil myogen of life's web subterranean tremors another goblin rabble master mayor of averbrook uh, Blue Sun Zenith, Foil Amulet of Vigor, Palace Jailer, Heritage Druid, Winter Orb, Ambassador Laquatus, Palace Siege, Knight of the White Orchid, and a Butcher of Malakir. A lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good stuff we're going to see. But not just that. Let's talk about... It's, it's holiday season, right? So for those of you... Oh, also, Grand Prize Pool. So the last patron pulled out of the pile gets something from the grand prize pool, which right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six things. Uh, the things currently in the grand prize pool are, of course, a mythic edition pack from Ravnica Allegiances, a uh, deck box or play mat, uh, your choice, of course. A uh, this is uh, a pre-release kit of Zendikar Rising. Do uh, thank you to Matt S for that. Um, Ikoria bundle. We've got a Mana Crypt, and we've got an Ikoria promo pack, which I don't know if we actually have the other kind. Oh, we do have the Ikoria promo pack. There it is. See, look at this right here. Look at that gorgeous thing. Um, so those are the grand prize things that people can win um, out of the pile. They're the last ones. Now, that being said, we also, you know, last year we did something different for, for the holiday season, and that was uh, we added, like, some extra pulls for people because why not? So this year... We're going to add these. So I'm going to crack this open now. We're going to pull the cards out of it. Um, We're going to put them into another pile. And then when we pull people from the patron pile, we're going to give them cards from from this as well. Um, So basically, that's what we're doing. Where did my knife go? Where did... Where did my knife go? Knife? Knife? Where did you go, knife? There you are. There you are. So. Yeah, I figured, you know what? Like, this has the, um... This has, like, the... Whatchamacallit? The, uh... This has the the, the Godzilla cards in it. And so I figured it was kind of a cool thing, right? Uh, It was a cool thing to add. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these out... That knife deserves a name. Oh man. Uh, what? I, where did I? This guy. <sighs> I want to call this knife like Old Faithful because I've had it. I've had this knife since I moved out on my own in twenty. Not not even two thousand and seven. Two thousand and seven. I've had this knife since that point. Um. So yeah, I think that's probably what we what we have to call it. I mean, it's got to be something along those lines. So, um, I don't know what patrons want to do here, but with like with when we did the Throne of Eldraine one last time, <laughs> Little Bevers is the name. Ah, oh, good old Little B. Come here, Little B. I mean, that might be not a bad name either, right? She's been through a lot. Yeah, yeah, she has. It's true. Um, all right. So when we did the Ikoria ones. Or not the... When we did the Throne of Eldraine ones, okay? 
Hey, Molnik, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. I was talking about you earlier. I, I mentioned the, the, the birthday box you gave me um, and how I had to drink. And oh, look, 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 look who's here. I'm not drinking tonight, but look who's here. It's our friend Vexing Gull, the foil Vexing Gull. Just hanging out, just hanging out. He, I, he has a place of honor here beside my computer desk. Right here. Just, it just reminds me. Just reminds me. Underneath a blanket to not wake your wife. <laughs> All right. It's just like a place of honor here. So, when we did the Throne of Eldraine packs, um, let me get the focus going here, too. Where can we get the focus? Hey, camera, can you focus up, please? Where, where are you? Focus. Focus up, camera. Can you, can you focus up here? Where, where does this... Huh? Well, that's blurry. So if we put these up here... There, that's... That's a little... I said da da down? Why you gotta be like this? Is that right? That seems about right. Right? If I hold these cards here, they're pretty good. Holy moly! Thank you very much, Travis, for that $2. Agent Orange! Oh my goodness. All right, let's let's leave it at that for the moment, and uh, we can just leave this over here because I don't need to see all of that nonsense. Um. <laughs> all right, good night, Father Frodo. I'm sorry if we woke your wife up. Apologies. Have yourself a wonderful night. We'll talk to you later. Playing Minecraft with some friends. All right. Okay, so when we did the Throne of Eldraine packs. We sort of like pulled out like the extended arts, the rares, the mythics, and we put them into another pile. And then we just kind of pulled cards from like we counted how many we had versus how many patrons we had so that we could make sure that everybody got the equal number of cards from the same pot from the pile, basically. And then we just kind of shuffled them up and like dealt them out randomly. Right. I think that's what we're going to do again this time. If you think there's something else that I need to put into the pile once we go through all these cards, please let me know and we will do so. Okay, so anyway, we've got that cat token, of course. Um, so like the normal foils, we probably aren't going to bother giving away. Like we're just going to put them in their own pile. Unless there's something in the foil slot, like in the common, uncommon slot, that's like we need to make sure that that goes into the pile. So if you see a common or uncommon that needs to be in the pile, please tell me in chat uh, and I will make sure it gets added. Um, but other than that, we're going to be looking here. Like So for instance, here's a rare. We got Surly Badgersore. Uh, from, of course, Commander at this point, right? This is what the uh, the 2019 or the 2020 Commander decks, right? That's what that came out of. And then we got a nice extended art Kahira. Sweet. All right. Okay. And then we got a Foil Voracious Great Shark. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Okay. Then we have an alternate art Insatiable Hemorrhophage. So here's the question. This is an uncommon. These cards are not really worth anything, do you want them into the pile that gets pulled to patrons randomly? I don't think we do. Maybe if I have enough of these at the end, like I'll put them in a separate pile here, and if I have enough alternate arts to give everybody one, I will. Do you see what I'm saying? I think that's what I want to do. Is like this would just be like an additional like we don't put them in the good pile. We put them in the in the in the pile of like if we get 40 of these total, everybody gets one, right? But if not, they don't get added to the good pile, right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense to me. And if you guys don't want them, then fine. But I don't think we add them to the good pile. Ooh, but, but we will add this gem razor to the pile because that's a pretty sweet card and it sees a lot of standard play right now. Um, who was just asking, who's this for? It's for everybody, Ghost Unit. It's for everybody. And there, oh, we did it. We did it, everybody. There's our Death Corona kicking off 2020 December grab bags with everything that we've been living through this entire year. This entire year. Uncensored. Ooh! Wow! Gorgeous! Holy moly, that is a foil, foil extended art Savai Triome. Yes, please! Yes, please. Check my Patreon. Uh-oh. Corbin, did you do a thing? 
Did you do a thing? I don't have an email from you. I don't have I don't have an email from you, Corbin. So I I I don't know what you want me to do. If you you want to see if I got your money, I definitely don't have anything from you. Uh, or from Patreon. So he he books the cooking. Did you add Corbin? <laughs> all right, all right. Can the chat give a round of applause? Yeah, I mean, like throw up throw up them hands, chat. Let's do this. We got another cat token. Oh, we never checked the back of these tokens. Do we care? Oh, look, we got two human soldiers with cats. Joy, joy. All right, so we got, okay, all right, okay, all right, sure. Remember, if you see any commons or uncommons and that kind of stuff in the foil slot that you're like, that needs to be in the pile, tell me, and I will add them. All right, nice. We got another another rare here out of the ancillary slot. That's sweet. We got Twinning Staff. There you go. Ooh, and then we got an Extended Art Titan's Nest. Very nice. Then we got a Foil Extended Art Death's Oasis. All right, cool. Then another Cavern Whisperer and a Trumpeting Gnar. Ooh, all right. Staff is pricey? Sweet. We will add it to the pile for folks. Uh, but here we go. Alternate art Narset. Yes, please. Yes, please. Look at that high kick, man. You want that Narset so bad? Oh, and there he is. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This was the buy a box promo for Ikoria, which, just so that we're all clear... Oh, it was only in foil. So the only way to get it non-foil is to pull it right here in this slot. This is the only non-foil version of this card and the only way to get it non-foil. So there you go. And we got a foil Archipelagor. So like, okay, so this, because it's an uncommon, even though it's foil, I'm going to put it in this pile. Does that make sense to everybody? You tell me. Let me know, chat, what you think. This one goes here. The art gives airbender vibes. Absolutely epic, dude. Man, I love Avatar. I love Avatar The Last Airbender. That that show is phenomenal. I haven't finished watching the second show, Korra. I got I think I got through the first two seasons of Korra and then stopped watching it because I lost my cable and then didn't download it and it doesn't stream anywhere in Canada. Hey, Kyra, Kyra, yeah. This is, um, so you tuned in at the right time. We're doing, of course, the December grab bags. We always do something a little extra for everybody. So we're pulling, we're doing an entire box of Ikoria collector's packs. We're adding them to a pile, and then every patron from the patron pile is going to get extra cards, essentially. You want this token, the dinosaur beast? All right, we can do that. We'll put that aside for you, Ethan. I will put this dinosaur beast aside for you. It's got a human soldier on the back. And it's foil. Alright. Anyway, we got a glimmer bell. Did I miss anything? Has anybody, like... Has anybody, like, uh... Noticed any commons or uncommons that we need to pull out? Auspicious Sterix. This is a card. This is a very good card. I just don't know if it's... Worthy of putting into the pile. I don't think it is. It's a very good card. Ooh, we got the Glade Muse. I believe this card was previewed by Total MTG, I think. Um, Total MTG is a great little dude. The Migration's Path might be something. Okay, well, check out the price for me and let me know in chat. Uh, and if it's if it's over a dollar, we'll add it to the pile. But if not, I won't bother adding it. Okay, Glade Muse is a great little card, though. Then we got a nice extended art eerie ultimatum. I've seen this card cropping up in uh, in standard as well. This card is, uh, you know, ooh, hello, foil extended art Yorion. Um, uh, yes, please, yes, please. Look at this! Look at this gorgeous! Look at this gorgeous boy. My goodness. 
Very cool. We'll definitely add that to the pile. Majestic Oricorn, Migratory Great Horn. Ooh, all right. We got a, a we got an alternate art, a, a full art Savai Triome. So we got to foil one of this, and now we have a normal one of this, or not normal, but like the alternate art. Then we got King Caesar, Ancient Guardian. Even the Uncommons here, I'm going to add to the pile because they're the Godzilla cards and you can only get them from the collector's packs. So I'm adding them anyway. And then we got a Foil Porky Parrot, which goes into the normal alternate art card pile. How long ago was that? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Not me. Don't know. Uh, we got, uh, now, remember, Akihiko might be, you know, uh, selling them for $10 Canadian, too, right? So I don't know if that matters. We've got a coordinated charge, frost links, manned serveral, adventurous impulse, avian oddity, bastion of remembrance, island. Okay, we got another rare here. Great to see these rares coming in from the commander decks because, and this is why I picked this one, because the ancillary slot has a lot of chances at being a rare or a mythic from the commander decks. Um, so, good stuff. Very good stuff. Nesting Grounds, we'll take it. We got an extended art Song of Creation. Very cool. I've seen this card uh, being you know played around with. Is that off-center? What? Is what off-center? What do we, what do we, I don't, no, no, I don't see, everything looks fine. No, it looks good, it looks fine. Song of Creation is beautiful, yeah, it is. And we got a foil Karuga, Karuga. It's, it's my favorite way of saying that card. I don't know if you guys remember my opening of... Oh, there you go. An auspicious Sterex alt art. I love these arts, by the way. Like, the alternate art, like the comic book art. Gorgeous. Just chef's kiss. That's all I'm saying. Empty Cheer Hermit, how's it going? How's it going? We got a... Uh, what is this? Eluna? Apex of Wishes? It's very hard to read the name with all the little art over top of it. But, like, yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous art. Great card. Te this card is great in Teamer. F this card is a lot of fun to play as your commander, just so that we're clear, because of the mutate cost and such. Very cool card. The bull octopus from Naruto. <laughs> Fair. Hey, there it is. We got that Dorat, the perfect pet. So that's the, uh, the fairy dragon in uh, Godzilla form. So there you go. Very cool. Very cool. And oh man, we got a foil alternate art Everquill Phoenix. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I am super happy that this is working out the way I wanted it to. We're getting a lot of cards to add to the pile here so that we can make sure everybody gets like two cards a piece. I, I'm super happy about this. I'm super, super happy about this. We're getting a lot of good stuff here. Um, and this is why I love opening up these collector's packs for uh, for this specific purpose of, like, the December patrons and stuff. And and just so that we're clear, I wouldn't, like, I had, I could have done Theros. I, did, I chose not to do Theros. I chose to do Ikoria instead of Theros because the Ikoria packs are better in the aspect of they have better things that can come in the ancillary slot. Theros packs didn't have as, you know, many options. So I don't I don't like them because they had a lot more chances of getting like, you know, commons and uncommons in the ancillary slot. And that's not as fun. That's not as fun for anybody, right? Rugged Highlands, of course. I mean, like that's the other problem with with these ones is that you can get those cons lands in foil. Which is like not super exciting. The only other thing about the Theros one would have been would have been the full art. You get two full art stargazing lands or whatever you want to call them, star lands, which are gorgeous. But like, do you prefer? Would you have all out there preferred a chance at getting a stargazing land instead of like a Godzilla card? Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm asking. That is an actual question. It's not a, hy a hypothetical, right? Um. Have I opened any Commander Legends off-camera? 
Um, so yes, I have. I've opened, I've opened half of a box, and I filmed the episodes with my phone, like with my rig, and then I never edited them and put them on YouTube. I have them still. I have them still filmed. I just didn't put them out there. They're not out there for people to watch. Um, and the only reason is, is just because I never got around to editing them. Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. Yeah, okay. Everybody's on the same page here. So I'm glad I made this choice then. Because, like, if I had picked Theros, I'm sure you guys would have been happy with Theros. Had you not known Ikoria was an option. Do you know what I mean? But knowing, picking between the two, I'm glad I picked the one that everyone else would prefer. Because that's what, I, you know, that's what I wanted. I wanted you all to be happy with these cards. So, Souvenir Snatcher is fun. Pl plus Mycosynth Lattice equals fun. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, gain control of target non-creature artifact. Yeah, that's fair. Mycosynth Lattice and then just, like, steal all their lands and stuff. That's pretty funny. We got a, f a full art f uh, Frondland Felidar. So, this is our first full art card that I feel is kind of like just mediocre like it's not super exciting to see it uh it's not a bad little card but it's not like particularly amazing okay we got a foil in Dothria Triome or in Dotha Triome or tr Triome however you want to pronounce it I go with Tri because it's tricolor so Tri is the thing that you say when it's you know three of something Triome doesn't sound right to me. I don't know. I'm just... Maybe I'm wrong. I, I It is English. I am by no means a master English uh, speaker, even though it's my only language. Um, but anyway, don't say what you pulled. Maybe you can release it as a YouTube Christmas special. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I'm not going to say what I pulled. And I and I did... I You know, I won't. I definitely won't. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Hermit, what you've missed so far is that we're opening these to make an additional patron pile to pull cards from for all the patrons. That's what we're doing at the moment. Um, so we've got an Indroth, uh, Indothra Triome there, foil, and then we've got Boneyard Lurker, Dreamtail Heron, and then we've got a Cub Warden. All right, we'll take it. Nice alternate art rare there, Cub Warden. Ooh, we got Gigan, or Gigan, or however you want to pronounce it. J maybe it's j maybe it's Jigan. Is it Jigan? Right? Like with a like a g with a G G or a G G G Gan, like GIF versus GIF, right? That's that's the big nonsense, right? Try sounds right, like trifecta, exactly, right? I listen, I'm not a Godzilla. I, I don't watch Godzilla and stuff, so like yeah, I, it, I know that it's Gigan, but, like, I just wanted to, like, ruffle some feathers. Gigan. You know, it's Gigan, like Gif and Jif. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't have any Commander Commander Legends uh, collector's packs to provide, unfortunately. Um, we got a nice foil Cloud Piercer there. And the reason is because they're just so dang expensive. Like, if you didn't pre-order them... Those boxes are like almost like four hundred dollars now or more, and I'm like, nope, no. Like for instance, this Ikoria box that I'm opening right here, I bought this box at release, so it only cost me like the two fifty or whatever it was. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was like you know like two hundred and seventy or something like that, right? Yeah, like so I got one for two twenty five, but is that two twenty five American? Or is that 225 Canadian, Jonathan? Because if it's American, that means it's closer to like 275 Canadian, right? Because you gotta add like 30%, right? Ish. Yeah. Here in Montreal, we could have gotten you a box for 150. But like, now, but you're talking uh, Commander Legends or Commander Legends Collectors game night? Because the collector's boxes, I don't think there's any way you would have got it for 150 right? Or are you talking about Ikoria collector's boxes for 150 Because if so, you and I need to talk afterwards, because I need to get boxes that cheap. <laughs> this is a collector's box, yes. Yeah, collector's is closer to 300 yeah, exactly, yeah. 
but it's actually climbed even higher now. I don't know if I don't know if the price is still three. If the price is still three hundred around where you are game night, I would snap them up because everywhere here in Ontario, they're almost four hundred bucks a box. Yeah, but one twenty eight, like that's one a dollar twenty eight is about thirty percent. Right, that's how the dollar works. Twenty eight cents is twenty eight percent of a dollar. Right? <laughs> right? So it's it's about thirty percent. <laughs> the thirty percent difference in our exchange rate. Right. We got a feather with of course this. Oh look, starting strong with the swift waters cliff. Yeah, but now you're talking like that's regular vo versions of those cards, right? That's not even the foil versions or like the extended arts. No worries, Pablo. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Enjoy your evening or night or whatever it is for you. And uh, let's... Oh, man! Holy moly! Yo! Dang! We got there. Look at that big money pull. Holy moly. That is a sweet hit for everybody involved. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, yes. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> Dude, I totally forgot you could get that from this product, right? Exactly. We need a longer yo for that. Yo! Is that better? Did we get there? Is that was that long enough? I don't even know. <laughs> I hope it was long enough. It's like 35 on TCG. Yeah, that's sweet. Listen, that card just paid for that pack that we just opened by itself. It's time to d -d 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 duel. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't Twitch, so I can't get banned for things like that here. It just means that my video would get demonetized, which is whatever. Um, we got a nice crystalline giant all, uh, extended art. Oh, man, sweet. Foil extinction event. Yes, we'll take that. And listen, this luck is for the patrons, so I'm glad I'm using it up on them. To be honest with you, Ghost Unit, you all know how my luck is most of the time. It's terrible. So if my luck is good today for the patrons, I'm on board with this. Because I love giving product away. Holy moly. Holy moly. I love giving product away. And I love it being worthwhile for people. By the way, all of you out there watching this right now, not that you should leave here and go do something, but if you have not seen what I'm doing on Twitter for the last nine days, you definitely need to go and look at it. Because I am participating in the MTG 31 Days of Christmas again this year, and last year and the year before, I gave away one of each Masters pack. I opened them up, I gave the product away to the people who won. I'm doing a little bit different this time. Uh, things are a little bit spicier, as I might say. Just a tad bit spicier this year. Uh, my Twitter is Mr. Underscore Bevers. Yeah. Mr. Underscore Bevers. Uh, but you definitely need to go look at what I'm doing. And you need to go and enter if you have not already. Make sure you use my link to enter i would greatly appreciate it because if you use my link then i get a little tick off on the back end that i brought you to the giveaway and i there's some reward stuff going on for the people the content creators who bring in the most people into the giveaway i know that i'm probably not in the running because there are some people in the in the 31 that have like huge followings on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and things like that. So like, I know that I'm not going to be in the running, but I would appreciate it if you use my link, um, just so that people, they know that I brought you. Um, but you definitely need to go check it out because I'm building an MTG ultimate box. Like the ones that you can buy from CFB, except that mine is way better. Mine is way better 
way better. And it's what I think their ultimate box should be, in my opinion. Okay, in my opinion, their ultimate box should be the way I'm building it, not what they did. Their ultimate box is fine. It's fine. It's just fine. But I don't think it's worth the money you spend on it, in my opinion. Because the stuff you get is... Most of it is free for them. Because it's stuff that's given to them as promotional items for the GPs and the Magic Fests and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, sorry, we're getting sidetracked here. We're gonna be we're gonna be here forever. It's already been an hour. We haven't even done the extra pulls yet. We're only cracking the packs. I'm gonna be here for another like three hours. This is gonna be insane. We got a uh, Ketria Triome, Ketria Triome in the extended full art. Very gorgeous. It's not foil though. But oh, there we go. We got the Space Godzilla Death Corona non foil. So now we have a foil and a non foil in there. Pretty good. It's good stuff. What do you get for people signing up through your link? I honestly have no idea. They've just told us that there's like they're gonna give away prizes and stuff to uh we got a foil auspicious sterix there. They're just gonna be giving away like some prizes to like the people who bring in the most people, I guess, or like just like yeah, like I don't know, like put it this way. The there's a lot of sponsors for the giveaway this year. Um those sponsors are doing things um not just for the people who are winning the giveaways, but also for the creators who are participating, essentially. Um, so, for instance, like last year, I got one of these. Here, I'll show this off. I'm pretty sure I showed this off already, but um, is it all dirty? No, it's, it's okay. Got a little bit of dust on it. But I got one of these last year, which is a nice Planeswalker coffee cup. Uh, as you can see, I haven't even used it yet. Um, it's just kind of sitting on my desk as like a, like, this is cool. I like having this here. But yeah, it's got like a little Planeswalker logo on it, and it's just like a nice metal tumbler. Very cool. So like that was a thing that Wizards sent out uh, to the organizers last year, and then the organizers reached out and were like, hey, you know, we want to get these out to the people who participated. Are you, are you, do you want one? And I was like, yeah, I want one. <laughs> of course I want one. Um, anyway, we got a flying shark token here with this human soldier. We got a prickly marmot. Dismal Blackwater, all this nonsense, who cares, Sivai, ooh, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, gorgeous looking swamp, by the way, there you go, okay, here we go, see, look at this, first pack, first pack out of what, uh, seven, this is our seventh pack, first pack out of our seventh, se first pack out of seven, to not have a rare in the ancillary slot, I'm not gonna complain about that, I don't think, you got, you out there can tell me, the shark token is a couple bucks. Well, there, I can put it in. But, yeah, shark token I can see because it's like an odd, it's an odd token, and also shark typhoon gets played a lot in standard. I don't think this is actually worth anything. Um, let me know if it is. I will put it in the pile, but I don't think it is. So there we go. We got a nice Seb McKinnon uh, art for Mythos of, of Vadrock, and it's the extended art. Gorgeous. Seb McKinnon obviously making gorgeous art. But we also have a Foil Gigantha. Very cool. Great little commander card there. You can do lots of weird things with this. Uh, in fact, if you missed the game that we just played, BT can attest to this. If you just missed the last game we played on Tuesday, last Tuesday with PJ, he played Gigantha as his commander with tap creatures. So like all of the creatures in his deck tap to do a thing. That's what the deck was. <laughs> it had nothing to do with adding five colors of mana. He was just playing Gigantha to be able to have access to all the colors. That was it. Um, very interesting. It was a very insane game. I agree. Chat tried to kill PJ like at least twice. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. We got an alternate full art or borderless Vivian. Very nice. I play this Vivian in mono green right now in standard. It's very good. Um, being able to look at the top card of your library and cast it if it's a creature, phenomenal. Phenomenal ability, very good. The minus two, also very good, because when you cast a creature, you get to go get a creature out of your library and put it on the battlefield, as long as it costs less than the thing you played. So if you play like this, I, I've been finding that this lets me go, like I play my four drop creatures, like my, uh, 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 pfft. What the heck is it? I have the Wicked Wolves. I'm playing food. I'm playing green food. So I have Wicked Wolves, and then I have the... Uh, what the heck is the name of that card? It's the one that has all of the text, the mythic that has Death Touch. You're heading off to work? All right. Have a good night, Kairu Kairu. Anyway, 
It's the death touch 4-4 four, four with vigilance and haste and whatever. It can't be blocked by two twos and can't prevent damage. That one. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Something beast. I don't remember. Anyway. Um, when you play those, you can go and fetch out your Brontodon to remove their enchantments and artifacts that they're playing. And you come up against a lot of control and it's been phenomenal. Every time I've been able to minus two this and cast a four drop, I go and get that three drop and then murder the enchantments or artifacts that my opponents have almost every time there's been an occasional time where i've gone to go fetch like um scavenging ooze to then just eat a bunch of things out of their graveyard that they wanted to get back right like if they're playing rogues or playing whatever yeah questing beast that's the one unpacked knows what i'm talking about questing beast all right and then we got a king caesar again and we got a foil trumpeting gnar all right all right all right man i can't believe that we hit that uh that counter spell the commander counterspell the commander force of will we did it got there questing beast was the one you play that in your mono green galta stomp deck yeah 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 for sure also very good in that deck agreed slash agree as they say there you go another rare see in the ancillary slot we got a title barracuda what is that? Dun 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 ah! Oh, wrong song. That's the wrong song. My bad. Sorry. My apologies. We got a... Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, no. This is an extended art Yodaro. This is the original. Okay. I was like, hold hold up. What is this? Why did we get a Godzilla card? We didn't get a Godzilla card. We got a um, Yodaro in extended art. And I was like, wait, this is a Godzilla card. Why did it show up in this slot? It's not actually the Godzilla card. It's just the extended art of the regular rare. Yodaro Wandering Monster. Cool little cycle card. I've seen this card in, in standard a few times, actually, where people are doing really interesting things with it, where they cycle it, but like they cycle it and then get it back out of their library in a weird way and then cycle it again. Like it's, it's very interesting. Um, the other thing that's interesting about it too is that it counts each instance of the card as one right so like if you have two copies of it in your hand and you cycle both it counts as two times so then the third time or the fourth time you do it you just get it into play so the more copies you play obviously the the better the higher chance you have it cycling it to have it in play which is kind of interesting um anyway we got a foil mythos of brokos in here and then we've got a, ma a majestic oracorn migratory great horn and then we've got that everquill phoenix alternate art very nice gorgeous oh we got a foil Geigen. There it is. Foil Geigen. We'll take it. And an insatiable hemorrhophage foil. All right. Okay. Okay. We're down to four packs here. Four packs. We need to hurry. We need to get a, get going here. We got to pull all these things. Maybe we're going to have to like postpone the rest of this video and like not do it tonight. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. Maybe I got to like take a break and come back to do the grab bags. Maybe I do it later tonight and just, like, we just do the extra pulls right now and then come back so that everyone can take a break. Go get, you know, a drink, have a stretch, that kind of thing. Otherwise, we're going to be going for, like, hours here. Uh, we've got Dredge the Mire, a nice little rare here from the ancillary slot. Very good stuff. Dredge the Mire. Each opponent chooses a creature card in their graveyard. Put those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, we got an extended art Bonders Enclave. That's cool. I play this in the uh, green food deck as well. Very good way to draw cards. Then we got a foil extended art crystalline giant. Remember when this card came out and everyone just started jamming it into their standard decks because it's a three drop. For, it's a three, three for three that like if you get lucky and it gets hex proof the first time, it's just like impossible to remove. It's just like impossible to remove after that. Um, because, like, it can, it can get uh, indestructible, it can get hexproof, like, all those things, right? So it's like, what is it? Flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and a 1-1 counter. Oh, so it doesn't, can't get indestructible. So, yeah, indestructible hexproof would be just, obs obs you know, you'd have to get the, uh, what's that, the black smell, Ext uh, extinction event or whatever that just, like, exiles everything. Okay, we got another triome. Very nice here. Very good, very good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, we got another mythic. Uh, Bilante. Bio, Biolante. Biolante. Plant beast form. Very cool. Very cool. There it is. Very nice. 
We'll put that into the pile here, won't we? And then we got a foil Huntmaster Liger. Okay, okay, okay. All right, chat, where are we at here? You were chatting away, and now all of a sudden everybody's just quiet. Everybody's just quiet now. What happened? Did everyone lose? Is everyone just having a snoozer? Just a snooze? A little snoozer? What are, you, what are you folks saying out there? Dire Tactics. Very good card. Glowstone Recluse. All right, Planes. Another rare here. We got Species Specialist. There you go. Or is the delay now just like too too bad and just the worst? Maybe it's just the delay now is just really bad. Don't know. But there's 21 of you here and we've only got 10 likes on the video. Come on, hit that thumbs up, everybody. Hit that thumbs up, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Hit the thumbs down if you want. I don't care. Uh, we've got a Species Specialist, though. Very cool little card. Is that a... Come on, Fuhuga gods. Come on, Fuhuga gods. Everybody to the limit. The cheat is to the limit. Everybody come on, Fuhuga gods. Right? That's how that song goes. Uh, you're down for one longer stream? All right, all right, all right. Gigantha in extended art. We'll take it. Ooh, a foil Ozolith. Very nice. Ozolith seeing a lot of play in a lot of places these days. You just got a pack of Commander Legends and got an etched Nahila. Uh, and the Funky Lotus. Oh, you got the Lotus? Nice. Oh, and and here, I'll like the video now. <laughs> yeah, take that. You get called out. Everybody gets called out. All right, we got another Triome. Zyga or Zagoth Triome. The Sultai Triome. Very nice. And then we got Godzilla. Just Godzilla. There it is. Hey, Devin, how's it going? You've missed, you've missed a little bit. You've missed an hour. But that's okay. There's lots going on. Now, uh, we've got the Godzilla card here, and then we've got a Foil Boneyard Lurker. Well, uh, Devin, you'll you'll be happy to know that these aren't my cards. They're the patrons' cards. So that Triome could be yours. There's a lot of things that could be yours from this pile. We've got a Foil Essence Scanner. That's nice. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, we hit a Mythic finally. There it is. Mythic in the ancillary slot. We got Nakira. Layer Scavenger. There it is. This is a partner with uh, Yannick Scavenger Sentinel. And it's a 2-2 with Menace for 3. It says, whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had one or more counters on it, you draw a card and you lose a life. Great pairing with Ozolith, right? Because then all your Ozolith stuff gets a nice little like bump there. Then we got an extended art. Oh my gosh, it's a Bosch. Right? That's how that's my nickname for this one is Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Every time I see this card, I go, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then we got a foil triome. Ketria triome foil. Very nice. Auspicious Sterix. Looks like she's from Monster Hunter World. Absolutely. Ooh, another another alternate art mythic here. Very nice. We got Nethroy, Apex of Death. This is the Abzan one. I love this card. This card is great. Uh, this card is a lot of fun to play with because it's whenever this creature mutates, return on any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. To the battlefield. Very good. Oh, look at that. We got Bob Jones' favorite card, Baby Godzilla. There he is. Baby Godzilla in foil. Everyone's favorite. And then we got a foil Vulpakeet. The foil slot at the end here. We've been missing out on like getting rares and mythics in that foil slot. I was really hoping we'd see some more, but... You know how the cookie crumbles sometimes. We got one pack left, everybody, and then we'll do the pulls for everybody. Got that dinosaur token. Ethan wants those dinosaur tokens. We got Convolute. Pacifism. Almighty Bushwag. Uh, Day Squad Marshal, Void of Void Beckoner. That's the Death Corona right there. Original printing of it. There it is. Ar Archipelagor or whatever. Planes. All right, we got another rare here. We got the Manascape Refract Refractor. Refactor. No, Refractor. Mr. B. Mr. B. There's an R. There's an R in there. Yeah, yeah, the one at the beginning. Refactor. No, no, no. There's another R in there. Yeah, the one at the end. Refactor. No, no, no. There's a third R in that word. 
Oh. Sorry, I'm just having conversations with myself. Um, yes, but I don't think we pulled any. You've been wanting to play Monster Hunter, uh, but Ori has a strong hold on you. Now, when you say Ori, you mean Ori and the Lost Forest or whatever, like the, the platformer? I haven't played it yet, but I've heard really good things uh, about Ori, and I really want to play it. I just haven't played it yet. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I haven't played it yet. I want to play it. I have not played it yet. All right, all right, Corbin. All right. I'll take a look in a sec. We got Quartzwood, a Crasher. We got a Foil Everquill Phoenix. Very good. And we got a Cloud Piercer. A Huntmaster Liger and another Triome in Dothra Triome. Very nice. There it is. And then we got, uh, ooh, all right. We got Angarius. Ang Ang is that how you pronounce that? Ang Anguirius? Angirius? Anguirus? 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 I don't know how you pronounce that name. Um, again, I'm not a Godzilla uh, watcher, so. Uh, correct me if I am horribly butchering it, or don't. I'm just butchering it. It's going to happen. Um, anyway, um, that's like the 10th Triome opened? Yeah. The last one? Ang Anguirus? An An Angirus? Anguirus? I don't know. Whatever. I have to change my name to Mr. Yo Triome. <laughs> Mr. Yo Triome. And then we got a foil Regal Leosaur. Okay, so first things first. First things first. See all these foils? All these foils right here? All of these? They're just going over here. Because no one cares about these. I mean, some people might care about some of them, but we don't care about them. This extra card, nobody said anything about it, so it goes over here as well. Just like, out of the way. Get out of the way thing. Did we get any of these weird uh, dinosaur cat tokens? I don't think we did. So I think the dinosaur cat tokens you're looking for only come from the commander deck. I don't think you can actually get them in here because they're not from the set. They're only created by Gavi, right? The, the, you're talking about the dinosaur cat tokens. Uh, I think Gavi's the only one that makes those. And so since she's not in the set and you can't get, you can only get her in here in the ancillary slot. There's no, there's no option. Anyway, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Only 35, so no extra cards. These aren't going to the patrons because not everybody can get one, unfortunately. That being said, though... We got a nice big pile here, don't we? Look at this. How many we got here? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Okay. 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 So we've got 61 cards. So I like to make it as even as possible. When we did the Throne of Eldraine one, everybody got two cards. Um... But the cards that we also added, I think, like the story border art cards in as well. Like the foil ones, at least. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't think we have enough of these foil ones. There's the shark token. I mean, it's worth $2. The shark token is worth $2, if you believe me or not. I don't know. It's silly, but it is. Um, we had 61. We need 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we only had 11. So, not enough to give everybody two cards. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. Alright, is everyone ready? Okay. These are for patrons. So, what I'm going to do is everybody's going to get one card out of this pile today with your grab bag. The rest of the cards from this pile will end up in the patron pile moving forward. So that way they still get handed out to everybody. 
but it'll be random as to how you get them. Okay, now these, you remember, these is all in addition to what you get already. So I hope that is okay for everybody. And I hope that that makes a nice little Christmas gift for all of you. Yeah, 61 cards. I was just counting again to see. So, I like I want to shuffle these, but I don't really want to shuffle them because I don't want to damage them. Um, but I want to randomize them. So this is what we're going to do, right? This is what we're going to do. I'm just going to kind of like cut a few piles. We're just going to cut shuffle. Do you know what I mean? Just so that stuff's not in the order that we drew it in. You see what I'm saying? All right, Chuck, have yourself a wonderful evening. If you don't come back, I mean, like, I'll probably be here for another couple hours. So if you don't come back, have yourself a wonderful night. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're doing well, sir. Um, right. And we need to add Corbin's name. Let me just double check that. And Corbin said he did the thing. Corbin did the thing. Corbin, Corbin, did you do the thing? Corbin, did you do the thing? Hey, Patreon? Hello, Patreon. All right. I see you there, Corbin. It looks like you're there. I didn't get an email about you joining, but I do see you on Patreon. That you have joined. So. Uh, where do I get your name from? I think you're in here. You aren't in here. Where are you then? That's not you. None of that is you. In fact, none of that is even cards. Where did you end up, Corbin? Well, we just get you a new card, I guess. <laughs> card game corner. That C looks really terrible, but here we are. What did I just drop? A bunch of lands? Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bunch of lands. All right, so we got we got that. We're going to shuffle this up. Well, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, I mean, I could. You're right. I could just I could do that. But that's also a lot of work to do on the fly. And I don't want to do that. Um, it's a lot of work to do on the fly. So I'm just I piled shuffled this like I just cut shuffled it. Um, cause we're going to shuffle the, the, the patron names as well. Right. Um, so this is how we do this everybody so that everyone can see how this is done. Um, you shuffle this up like, so this is the patrons. We're just going to kind of do a pie. We're going to do a, a count shuffle on here as well, just to make sure that the people aren't, uh, you know, all grouped up together because normally what we end up with is like everybody who gets like a double grab bag ends up sort of in the same place. Um, and then I end up having to pull all the double grab bags at the same time, and it gets, you know, confusing sometimes, and blah, 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 and what have you. So I like to do a little bit of a pile shuffle just to kind of separate everybody out. This box is getting a little worse for wear, too, eh? Now, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but the edges of this box here, like where I pick it up from and stuff, they're starting to get all, like, worn and, like, uh, oil-soaked and stuff because of, you know... My my hands, of course, picking them up over and over. So now we just kind of do a couple more like over overhand shuffles. Now that we split everybody up a little bit, we put them all back together, right? That's how this works. Put them all back together. Do a couple pile shuffles. There we go. Okay, so first up, Gordon. Gordon is walking away with the top card off this pile, 
which is the nice revised Navinrals disc. Congratulations, Gordy. And that Manascape Refractor. So there you go. Congratulations, Gordy. That's your pile of things. We should move these over here somewhere out of the way at the moment. So you're going to see how I do this. I put them face down over here to the side. Don't know if you can even see that. I think you can. All right. Are we are we bad A? Eh? Are we bad A? Eh? I don't know. Are we bad A? Eh? We got Kitchen Fink is next. Oh, focus. Yes, focus. Right, right. Let me do the focus. Good call. Good call there. How's that? Better? Because we're not holding the cards up. Ooh, walking away with that Tyler's Tracker. There you go, Kitchen Fink. That's very nice. And that Extended Art Quartzwood Crasher. Congratulations. There you go. Now, for those of you keen-eyed out there, you'll remember what cards were kind of around where the counterspell was, and you'll be like, oh, it's coming up soon. It's coming up soon. You're being summoned. All right. Have yourself a wonderful night, uh, BT. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hyping up chat. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful night. Enjoy your dinner. Um, and, uh, yeah, make sure you go check out BT's channel as well. If you're here, go check him out as well. We got Sebastian walking away with that Whir of Invention and the Foil Everquill Phoenix. There you go. There you go, Sebastian. Congratulations. All right, next up, we got Matt N. Matt N's walking away with that Dismember. Ooh, and an Endothra Triome. There you go. Very nice. There you go, Matt. Congratulations. Who's next? We got Greg. Greg's walking away with that Forgotten Ancient. Great little card for Commander. And the Ang Angurious Armored Killer. There you go. The nice Godzilla uh, gem. Gem. What is that? Gem Razor? That's the one, right? Kazan. Kazan is next. Ooh, walking away with a Goblin Rabble Master. Great little card. And, oh, there's the Twinning Staff. Very cool. Very cool little card. There you go, Kazan. Congratulations. Who's next? Who's next? Twilight's Eve is next. Oh, oh let's do this. Twilight's Eve is walking away with an eight and a half tails. And the Extended Art Titan's Nest. There you go. Congratulations, Twilight's Eve. Enjoy, enjoy. We've got Jonathan. Jonathan's next. Jonathan, you're walking away with that Eldritch Evolution, and your extra pull is the Foil Death's Oasis Extended Art. So there you go. Time to play some Abzan, Jonathan. I hope you enjoy playing Abzan. But boom Father Frodo walking away with that Caged Son. Very nice. And, ooh, baby, there's that Narset. Oof. Sorry, uh, Akihiko. Sorry, we gave it away to Father Frodo, unfortunately. So there it is. There you go. Father Frodo, congratulations on that one. Damon. Damon's here. I know Damon's here. Damon, what are you getting? You're getting that sweet Butcher of Malakir. I love this card, by the way. Great little card for Commander. And, and. Ooh, Godzilla. King of Monsters. King of them monsters, you got the non-foil version of this card that only came in foil because it was the promo card. So there you go. Now you've got a non-foil version of the promo card, which is kind of interesting. It's actually, like, rarer than the promo card. Cool. All right, we got Travis. Travis, are you still here in chat? You're walking away with a smuggler's copter. And a Glade Muse. Very great card. Like, the Glade Muse is just solid. Whenever a player casts a spell, if it was not their turn, that player draws a card. This card is great in any kind of blue-green shenanigan deck. You get to draw cards all the time. It's just amazing. It works really well with Joriel. Because you draw, like, when you draw multiple cards on someone else's... When you draw your second card for the turn, you get to make a cat token. And so you can build your Joriel deck to essentially draw cards on your opponent's turns. And so then you can play the Glade Muse, and then you not only do you draw, like you draw a card, like you play a spell that draws you a card on their turn, which draws you another card, which makes the cat token. And you only had to play one spell. Great. Heather. Heather T is walking away with that uh, Heritage Druid. And that extended art. Eerie Ultimatum. Some more Abzan action going on right in there. 
All right, who's next? We got Logan. Logan's walking away with that. Ooh, Michaelith. Or Michaeloth. I love Michaeloth as well, by the way. Ooh, and that foil Yorion extended art. Congratulations, Logan. There you go, buddy. I hope you're still playing standard or at least commander of some kind uh, because Yorion is a, is a hot ticket item right now in standard. We got Jordan. Jordan's walking away with that subterranean tremors mythic there. Congratulations. And you're getting a nice Savai Triome. So that now you have a Triome to play with your Subterranean Tremors because it's Mardu. And that goes right in there. So there you go. Congratulations, Jordan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. We got Hunter Issus is next. Hunter Issus is walking away with that Kinjali Sunwing. But also that Foil King Caesar Ancient Guardian. There you go. Very nice. Solid little card right there. Nice little Godzilla card. Good stuff, good stuff. We got Ghost Unit. Ghost Unit's walking away with Stolen Energy. Very nice. Very good card right there. And, ooh, the Species Specialist. Very cool. As Species Specialist enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, you may draw a card. It's great. In a nice little, like, you know, um, tribal deck. Solid in tribal decks. We got Phil. Phil. What was Phil looking for? Phil, were you looking for a word of invention? No, but you were looking for that counter spell, right? Oh, Gigantha Extended Art. Not quite, Phil, but you did almost get that Mana Crypt last week, right? Or last month, I should say. So there is that. That's the only tri Extended Art Triome you don't have yet, and you just got it from me? That's phenomenal. <laughs> I'm, that's awesome, MTG Hermit. Uh, sorry, Phil, we couldn't help you out, unfortunately, but... Almost got there. Peter S. Peter S. is walking away with that Inquisition of Kozilek. And that Foil Ozolith. There you go. It's interesting. Like Kozilek and Ozolith have quite a, a number of characters the same in their names. Interesting. Just an interesting thing I noticed. You know, conspiracy theories and what you have. You know, the Ozolith is actually just an Eldrazi. That's hardened into stone, right? Akihiko. Walking away with that Zendikar Resurgent. Very good card, by the way. Zendikar Resurgent is very nice. Oh, and you're getting that, Zag uh, that Zygoth, or Zagoth Triome. Little, uh, what is that? Saltai? Saltai Triome? Congratulations there, Akihiko. Enjoy. Nice, pretty Triome. Brad. Brad is walking away with that Herald of the Pantheon. And, and, that Godzilla, Primeval Champion. There you go, the big old 11-11. Big, chonky Godzilla is what they call him, right? Big, chonky Godzilla. Chonk, the chonkster, if you will. The biggest, chonkiest boy. All right, who else we got? Well, who's next? We got Broke Honky. Broke Honky, you're walking away with an Archfiend of Depravity, which is a great little card as well. And... Ooh, that mythic Nakira Lair Scavenger. Now, I don't know if she's very good without the partner. I have no idea. But we didn't get the partner out of the packs we opened. So I don't know. But uh, there you go. You have to go? Yeah, no worries, uh, Akihiko. Have yourself a wonderful night. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, it's Jake and Joel are magic. My goodness, Jake and Joel, you've missed it. We've already, we just opened an Ikoria collector's box to give those cards away to our patrons. We're now pulling the extra cards from the piles. So, Tom is walking away with an or overwhelming stampede from the patron pile. But, but, from the Ikoria collector's pile, what are you walking away with? A extended art Obosh. Oh my gosh, it's Obosh. Oh my gosh, it's Obosh. Uh, yeah, there is some crazy stuff going on here, Neil. And um, you are welcome, No Name Senor. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. As to answer your question, Jake and Joel, I don't know which who it is that's here, whether it's Joel or Jake. But uh, regardless of who it is, thank you for both being amazing. I appreciate both of you. Um, to answer your question, um, yeah, we totally opened the counterspell, the Commander Force of Will. That happened. Got that in the ancillary slot. Um, so, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing that's in the pile. Um, 
All right. MTG unpacks walking away with an Ambassador Laquat Laquatus. And a foil uh, Ketria Triome. There you go. Congratulations, Unpacked. I hope you enjoy. Well, welcome, Joel. Welcome. Tony. Tony's walking away with a Chancellor of the Annex. And... Oh, yeah. That alternate art Nethroy. There you go. Well, technically, Chancellor goes in a Nethroy deck, right? I mean, like... Yeah? Why not, right? It's a 5-6 flyer for 7. That if you throw it in the yard, you get to bring it back with Nethroy because it's only got 5 power. Right? Yeah. Seems alright. Seems okay. <laughs> you could do it. It's a thing. It might not be the best thing, but it's a thing you could do. We got Virvel. We got Virvel walking away with a Knight of the White Orchid. And... That baby Godzilla! This little foil baby Godzilla. There you go, Virvel. Enjoy your foil baby Godzilla. I actually love the art on this card. Um, I know a lot of people out there who like Godzilla actually hate baby Godzilla. And like, I know, I, I should say, Bob Jones specifically hates baby Godzilla. Don't know if that goes to say for every Godzilla fan out there, but like just the arc of baby Godzilla was not very good, according to, I guess, people who like Godzilla. Uh, anyway, Justin K's walking away with a nice winter orb. There you go. We'll take that, right? And a title of Barracuda. So there you go. Well, any player may cast spells as though they had flash and your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. So a lot of good it does them to have flash. Virvel, hey, welcome. It's really late for you. Are you are you awake still? Are you about to pass out? That's the question I'm asking you. Thank you for being here, friend. I appreciate it. Aether Revolt is walking away with that co coercive portal. And that extended art Yadaro, wandering monster. Y Yadaro. Just rem like makes me want to sing Canyon Arrow. You know what I mean? Canyon Arrow. Yidaro. Connor. Connor M is walking in with a fumigate. And a foil mythos of Brokos. There you go. Very nice. So there you go, Connor. Congratulations. And then Corbin. Corbin, who just joined. Now, Corbin, the reason Corbin gets a pull here is because Corbin is a past patron. He has been a patron before now. Uh, he just wasn't a patron when we started the stream. So half past midnight here, just chilling. Okay, that's not so, it's not as late. I keep forgetting that it's only 6.30 here because normally I start this at like 8 p.m. my time and go until like 10. But I started it at like 5 o'clock today um, just because I was sort of like ready to do it. And I was like, well, I want to get this started and get it done so that I'm not up until like midnight um, because I am, you know, don't want to be up that late. Um, anyway, Corbin getting that Molten Psyche. Very cool, very cool. And... That Everquill Phoenix. There you go. Two red cards for you, Corbin. Congratulations. It's it's well past dinner time for me here. But um, I had um, I had Taco Bell for lunch. And I had that at like 2 p.m. So I'm not super hungry yet. So I'm all right. We got Ken F. Ken F's walking away. The Dawn of Hope. And a Foil Gigan. Foil Gigan. There you go, Foil Geigen. Boop, beep, beep. Congratulations, Ken. There you are. Enjoy. Enjoy milling your opponents. Hey, Kulin. How's it going? Uh, we got Eric C. You missed it, though. I mean, we've already been streaming for an hour and a half. Uh, but we opened an entire box of Ikoria Collector's Packs, and we've made a second patron pile out of them. Uh, so that everybody's getting two pulls. Pull from the patron pile and then a pull from the Ikoria box pull call cards. Eric C. is walking away with that Mayor of Averbrook. And a Dredge the Mire. Great little card. I think this. I think Dredge the Mire is a great card. Especially if your opponents don't, don't have many options in their graveyard uh, to give you. Um, so anyway, Devin. Devin, here we are. Devin, what are you walking away with? Devin, you're walking away with that Foil Reaper King. Congratulations. If you don't know where this came from, I pulled it in the video that's going to go live tomorrow. Spoilers. Spoilers. I pulled this card in in the in the charity video that I do tomorrow with Booster Tutor. If you're unfamiliar with Booster Tutor, you should go check him out. If you are familiar with Booster Tutor, then never mind. He's on the show tomorrow, and that's great. I, ha I was super excited to get him on the show. Um, so anyway, Devin, you got that Foil Reaper King, and... 
a Bonders Enclave. There you go, Bonders Enclave. Love that you got that one. Well, like, Reaper King is great if you can build around it, and you can absolutely build around it. Uh, Joseph Y. Joseph Y. Walking away with that Palace Siege. And the Foil Crystalline Giant. There you go, Joseph. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let's pull the next person. Who we got? We got Gavin. Gavin is getting a Inferno Titan and... Ooh, a Rogrin Triome alt art. Very nice. Little Jeskai Triome there. Very cool. Yeah, I, I Booster Tutor is one of the people that inspired me to start my channel. Um, because I watched his videos a lot before I started my own. Um, and uh, I to I've told him that before. And he actually followed me on Twitter, I guess, like last year sometime. And I was just blown away. When he followed me, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Like, he why did he follow me? I, I don't even know what I had said or done to make him follow me. But it said he was following me. And I was like, okay, cool. Play it cool. Play it cool, Mr. B. It's fine. You're good. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. Have I contacted the professor yet? I have not. I know he's very busy. He's a very busy man. I don't want to bother him. Um, that being said, I, I should reach out to him. I just haven't yet. Um, anyway. I'm hoping to have somebody on from LRR uh, in the near future. I've talked to James already from Loading Ready Run. Um, and he sounded super interested. Uh, and we've had some email correspondence back and forth. This was before Desert Bus started. So hopefully I can get him on um, in the near future. Or not him, but somebody from Loading Ready Run who's willing to crack a pack with me for charity purposes. Uh, I would love to have them. Uh, because I'm huge fans of them. So I would love to have them on. That would be great. Anyway, um, so Matt S. Cabal Therapy. Oh, I think the professor would be happy to do it as well. I just have to ask him and and some and get through to him. That's the problem, right? Is that the only way I have to contact the professor is Twitter. That's it. That's the only way I have to get a hold of him. And I I can just imagine. I can't. I, I should say I can't even imagine what his Twitter is like. His Twitter is probably just just bonkers busy all the time. Like his notifications are probably just like. <laughs> Like, he probably doesn't even read the notifications because there's just so many of them. Um, anyway, we got a Cabal Therapy and... Ooh, we're getting that uh, Biolante plant beast form. The uh, Godzilla art of Nethroi. So we got a foil, or we got an alternate art Nethroi, and then we got the Godzilla art Nethroi. So there you go, Matt S. Congratulations. There it is. We got Tyler B., Tyler B. walking away with a Siphon Mind. Very nice card as well. And a Nesting Grounds. There you go. Very cool. There you go, Tyler. Congratulations. All right, who's next? We got Raphael. Raphael's walking away with a Relentless Dead. Very nice little card right there. And an Extended Art Song of Creation. Not really on color there. Uh, we got a black card and then a... Uh, <laughs> A teamer card, so four colors for you, Raphael. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Um, all right, we got Tice G. Tice G up next. Walking away with that foil promo rolling regrowth, or roiling regrowth, I should say. And you're getting a foil Karuga. There you go. Those two things go together pretty well. I mean, do they, though? Your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost three or greater. Perfect. See? It works out. It works out. All right, who's next? We got Ethan. Ethan, you almost made it to the top there. This is your first month back here, and you almost made it to the top. You're getting a Palace Jailer, which is a nice little card. And you're going to get that uh, <laughs> Eluna Apex of Wishes alternate art. So there you go. Nice little Mythic for you. Great Commander card as well. All right, next up, Mike V. Mike V almost making it to the top again. Walking away with that. Is this a Foil Angelic Chorus? I can't remember. No, it's just a regular Angelic Chorus. I think I said foil when I was reading them off earlier. But you're getting that nice Dorat, the perfect pet. There you go. And I mean, like, I hope, MTG Hermit, to be honest. Like, I, I want that series to blow up from the aspect of just people wanting to get involved with it. Because really, the series is nothing without other people joining, right? I mean, I could literally just make a two-minute video where I go, Hey, I'm going to open this pack of Magic Cards and then I'm going to donate money. 
to this charity. And that's all it is. And yeah, I could do that, but it's not in interesting. It's not as interesting as doing a pack battle with another person and picking a stipulation that's weird and different every time. Like that's what I love about the series is that we get to have a pack battle. We get to talk about the pack. We get to come up with this weird kind of like, you know, thing battle reason. And then at the end we donate money to charity. Nobody loses. There's no loser. Like, yeah, we have a pack battle and there's a winner and a loser, but if there's not a loser. The loser donates to the winner's charity, and that's it. But you're not really losing. You're donating to a good cause. Like, there's no losing in that series. So, anyway. Cairo, Cairo, you almost made it. You were second. Second from the top. So close. I think he, Cairo, Cairo had to leave to go to work. But he's going to watch this later. You're walking away with a world fire. And a nice foil Everquill Phoenix alternate art. Whew! You were very excited for the for the least card number total battle with Gavin. Yeah, I was super excited about that too. When I went when I managed to get Gavin on the show, I was like, "Yes, come on." It was funny cuz I reached out to him and he was like, "Yeah, I'm super interested, but you got to go through Blake uh at Wizards." And I went, "That's fine. I have no problem. How do I go through Blake?" And he was like, "You can just email him." And he gave me like his email, Gavin's email and Blake's email and said, "When you email Blake, just CC me so that he knows that you've already talked with me." So that he doesn't just like, you know, throw your email into the queue of like all of the hundreds of thousands of emails he gets. And I was like, okay, will do. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Matthew Waters, congratulations. You are our grand prize winner. Are you here? I don't know if Matthew Waters is here. I do not believe that he is here. So he gets a grand prize pull. Should we pull a card off the top of here first, though? Because he gets one of these cards, right? All right. He's getting the Souvenir Snatcher, which means... Guess what's in here still? We got a Foil Savai Triome, a Foil Space Godzilla Death Corona, a Gem Razor, a Foil Voracious Great Shark, Kiera the Orphan Guard, Surly Abagisaur, a King Caesar, a Vivian Alternate Art, a Foil Gigantha, a, an Extended Art Mythos of Vadrock, a Space Godzilla Death Corona, a foil, no, just a regular uh, Ketria Triome, or is it, yeah, just regular, and a foil Extinction Event, a Crystalline Giant, a Fierce Guardian Ship, a Gigan a Cyber Claw Terror, a Cub Warden Alternate Art, a foil Indothra Triome, and of course, the Frondland Felidar Extended Art. So, some great cards still left in the pile, which will end up in the patron pile moving forward. So, you'll still have a chance to get those cards. It's just a matter of you're not going to get them this month. That's all. Um, and then I forgot to put these with Ethan's stuff, but let me put them to the side here. You wish yours could have been a pack battle when you had me on the one week? Um, yeah, so I mean, like, if you want to do a pack battle, um, to do it, no name, uh, you did, you sponsored a video, but if you want to do a pack battle, you're more than welcome to, uh, just reach out to me, let me know, and then we can set something up. I have, of course, this Sunday I have already done, it's ready to go, um, but next Sunday I have, I think I have somebody lined up for next Sunday, but I'm unsure at this moment, like, I'm still waiting to hear back. Um, but it'll probably be one of the guys from Commander Crunch. If you're unfamiliar with them, they're from Australia. Um, bunch of solid dudes right there. Um, what do we need here? We need a D6. Where are our D6s? Where has our D6s gone? Did I put them into a box? I think I put them into a box. Here we are. How loud was that for everybody? Having that in your ear, the clinky, clinky, clanky, clank. All right. I've shuffled these up. We're going to roll because Matthew's not here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Three it is. All right, Matthew. It was not the mythic pack from uh, Ravnica Allegiance. It was not the pre-release kit. It was not the deck box. You think it's one? Okay. It was not the Ikoria promo pack. 
and it was not the Ikoria bundle. Matthew Waters, you have in fact walked away with a mana crypt. Congratulations, Matthew. Holy moly. There it is. Walking away with that mana crypt. Woo! Spicy, spicy. Spicy, spicy. Woo! Boy, howdy. Congratulations, Matthew. There it is. It's the luck of the draw, you know? Mm. Mwah. Mwah. I kissed the gull. The gull is my friend. <laughs> yo, that's my crypt. <laughs> yo, yo, that's my crypt. Hey, Tom's here. Hey, Tom. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, my name is Matthew. I will take that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Listen, Jake, or Joel, I should say, because Joel, you're here watching while you're editing. Have you ever seen these before? Do you know what's about to happen? Because it's about to get real here. We're about to get to the meat and potatoes of this. Did you think that the last two hours was, was all we were doing? My goodness. Who's ready? You have to... Yeah, who's ready? This uh, Did you think that this was just a platform for us to have cards on? So here we are. Good. I could only turn in for a second, though. Good luck. All right. Yeah. No problem, Tom. Thanks for tuning in. Have yourself a wonderful night. I appreciate you stopping by to say hi. Okay. So, Ethan, these are going to be yours. Oh, let's move this out of the way. Boop a doop. Let me get a drink here, real quick. Just like uh, wet the whistle, clear the throat kind of thing. There we go. <clears> hmm. <throat> Ah, that's better. Hmm. So, you saw us add in the booster packs. We added in the booster packs. All right, Gordy. Gordy's first. Gordy, you get a pull from this pile. Ready? Okay. We got a Luminate Primordial. ASMR. And a Master of the Feast. There you go. So, Joel, what we're doing here is both the red sleeves are all rares. They're all rares. Of varying varieties of, you know, power level and dollar value and all that good stuff. There's some cards in here that are worth over $50. There's some cards in here that are worth 50 cents. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this is the bulk pile. Everybody gets three pulls from each bulk pile. The bulk pile contains just commons and uncommons from all of the various sets that I opened throughout my series of videos. So, like, there's stuff in here from, like, Visions. There's stuff in here from Tempest. Like... If I open the pack and I don't need the cards for my own collection, they go in the box. Um, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of bulk, so that's what this gets built from. Um, that being said, um, in these two piles, we have cards in here that have my initials written on them. Those initials um, represent a booster pack. The booster pack is normally a pack of the most recent standard set, However, thank you to Ghost Unit out there in the patron land. I believe Ghost Unit is still in chat. I believe. I think he's still here. He gave me this. This box right here. So right now, we're giving these packs away as the packs from here. Because I got this box for free from, Go from Ghost Unit. And he said, do whatever you want with it. And I went, well, I'm going to give it to the patrons. So we're going to open these up one pack at a time for people when they get them. Yeah, there we go. So everybody out there, all you patrons, make sure you say thank you to Ghost Unit for sending that over to me. Because you're getting essentially upgraded packs when you pull packs out of this pile. Then the last row, the green row here, is foils. Every card in here is a foil. You could get a rare, you could get an uncommon, you could get a mythic, whatever. It's just a foil. Just a foil card. One foil card. The blue here is where the real, the real show is. And the blue here is commons and uncommons that are a dollar or more in value. So everybody who gets a grab bag is getting at least one card worth a dollar or more in value. And that is, that's what their tier levels give them. They get these grab bags. The other stuff that you just saw is all extra stuff that I do just because I want to. It has nothing to do with the dollar value they pay in, and it has nothing to do with the cards that, you know, like I have around 
and like I don't buy cards to put in those piles. I don't, you know, the the I the Icoria collectors pack was a special holiday thing for you know December. So I I like to do a something special for the patrons on the December month uh, if they've been a patron for you know you know. Uh, at least two months, uh, generally is what I say. If, if you've been a patron for at least two months, you get something from the extra pile as well. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So, anyway. pulling Going on the way here, we got Gordy. You've got a Circular Logic, a Sultai Flayer, and a Hagra Sharpshooter. Mist Raven. We've got a... Honey Mammoth and an Undead Servant. I'm your only one-year patron right now. Boom! Get on my level. Get on my level, people. Support Jake and Joel. They are solid dudes and they make great content. And you're getting in a Johnny's Welcome in addition to your foil mirror enforcer. So there you go, Gordy. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy your grab bag for this month. Grab a little... We can see we grab a little baggie here. We put the cards all of the cards including the name card into the baggie and then we put the baggie in this box right here like that and now boom kitchen fink coolin so you show, showed up late but you were like the first one we drew so you didn't get to see what you got unless you like rewound the video a bunch anyway you're getting look at that blood gas look at that what's blood gas coming in at these days on price wise it's got to be at least like eight bucks still right and you're getting a rurik thar there you go nice little commander we'll take it Right? So, like, blood gas coming out of this pile, like, that's a dollar card coming out. It's not just bulk, right? Bathe in Dragonfire, Weather the Storm, Electrolyze, Keldon uh, Halberdier, Storm Sculptor, and a Crystallization. And you're getting a Foil Ambassador Orc. That, that's your second blood gas for me? <laughs> cool. And you're getting a Boros Charm. There you go. Very nice. And so you're walking away with that. You had a tireless tracker and a extended art quartzwood crasher from the, uh, oh gosh, knock over all the things. Oh no. Ah, the baggies. Wait a minute, where did I put those? All right, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need those. I'm going to need those. All right, we got Sebastian is up next. Now you see here, Sebastian has a times two here. Right? Times two. That means that Sebastian's getting two grab bags, because that's the tier he's at. So, Sebastian, let's pull your first grab bag. You are very welcome, Cool and Fro. Thank you for your patronage. We got a Carrie Zev and a Mystic Snake. Lost Legion. Ooh, Sarah Advocate. White Border Bulk. <laughs> Greater Moss Dog. Gerard's Command. Wave Wing Elemental. And a foil arcane flight. You you missed all of the Godzilla cards, Bob. We did that already. And a pitless plunderer. There you go. So that's Sebastian's first grab bag. Let's see what the second grab bag holds for you. Second grab bag. Let's pull a rare from here. What do we got? Call of the Herd. And a Malakir Blood Witch. It's a Blood Witch. Mm, yes. We got Bladewing the Risen there. Unbridled Growth. Invigorated Rampage, Falling Timber, Doomed Dissenter, and an Architects of Will. And your foil is a Mere Servitor, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more, <laughs> get out of the way, you cards, is a Pitless Plunderer. <laughs> there we go. I've been busy. Listen, you can be busy all you like. I'm not saying, listen, Bob, you don't need to feel sad about being busy. Just don't get angry at me when you don't see Godzilla cards. Because it's not my fault that you missed them. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get to see some of them as we do this, right? Because we got a, we got a Matt N walking away with that Indrathra Triome with a Dismember. And Matt is getting... <gasps> but boom A Dragon Tempest and a World Heart Phoenix. Cool, cool, cool. Frontier Mastodon. Boomerang White Border. From Chronicles, I should say. Aether Poisoner. Uh, Utvara Scalper. Ram Roller. And a Ceradon Yearling. With Vigilance and Haste. There you go. And a Foil Mog Flunkies. Good old Mog Flunkies. And Anger. I'm angry. Anger, anger, anger. 
Matt, congratulations. Enjoy your dismember and your triome. I greatly appreciate your support. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, Gav. No, Greg. Greg is next. Greg's walking away with that uh, gem razor with that forgotten agent, but it's not the gem razor. It is the Godzilla gem razor, which is the Engirius. Engirius. I don't know. Engirius. I think it's Engirius. We're getting a Hope of Girapur and a Magma Quake, along with Ixali's Keeper, Untethered Express, Masked Admirers, Viscopa Vampire, Wish, Wishful Merfolk, and Nameless Inversion. What do we got here? Ooh, a Foil Rare. There you go. Foil Marionette Master. Great little card for Commander, by the way. Solid little card. Lots of fun. And an Explosive Vegetation, as you're common or uncommon, worth a dollar or more. So there you go, Greg. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. All right, Greg. Uh, there you go. Boom, in the bag. Who's next? Kazan is next. All right, Kazan, what do you get? Oh, a Knight of the Reliquary. Nice. And a Ruinous Path. It's two solid cards right there. Patron of the Wild. Silk Weaver Elite. Mog War Marshal. A Cower in Fear. A Foil. And an Inside Out. With a Foil Nessian Horn Beetle. And a Honden of Life's Web. There you go. Oh, and that's your first grab bag. So, Kazan, let's pull your second one. Giggity. Giggity. Ashes of the Abhorrent. Brass's Bounty. Brass's Bounty, great little card. Draconic Roar. Those of you who don't know, Brass's Bounty is a solid little card. Draconic Roar, Horizon Scholar, Nature's Claim, Archetype of Courage, Join Shields, and a Steel Sabotage. Foil? It's a Water Servant. Good old Water Servant. And a Primal Growth. There you go. As your common or uncommon with a dollar or more. Congratulations, Kazan. There you have all of your great stuff. And you, of course, are walking away with that Twinning Staff and that Goblin Rabble Master as your extra pulls for this month. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy December. I really appreciate your patronage. There is your grab bag. Who's next? Twilight's Eve. All right, Twilight's Eve. What you got? Followed Footsteps. Great little rare. Great little rare. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Who doesn't like Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, right? Shapers of Nature. Angelic Page. Turn to Mist. Great little instant. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Great little card as well. Valley Runner. And a Reckless Worm from uh, Planar Chaos. Cool, cool. Foil Rare. We got a Foil Icy Blast. All right, all right. And we got a Rat Colony. You dirty rat. You wrecked my colony. And, of course, uh, Twilight's Eve is walking away with that uh, Extended Art Titan's Nest and that Eight and a Half Tails. There you go, Twilight's Eve. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag and enjoy your holidays. All right, who's next? We got Jonathan. Catch you soon. We're doing a 10K celebration stream this week, hopefully. So make sure you swing by. Tons of giveaways. Man, you guys are at 10K now? When's the, what the heck, what the heck are you guys doing? When I, when I subbed to you on Patreon a year ago, you hadn't even, you had just broken 1,500 subs. You had just broken 1,500 subs. What the heck are you doing? You, that's awesome. That's crazy. That is crazy, and congratulations. That is awesome. You can tell how long it's been since I've been by your channel to watch things. It's called bribes. <laughs> Joel, you have to tell me if you're bribing people, okay? It's not as... You gotta tell me if you're bribing people, alright? It's like that thing that if you're a cop, you have to tell me, right? That's how that works. You have to tell me if you're a cop, right? I wish, I wish YouTube was... Right? Yeah, it's definitely not that easy. You guys have been hitting Reddit pretty hard, though, I think, right? Is that correct? I think you guys have been hitting Reddit pretty hard. And Reddit is a good source for pulling folks in. It is. Reddit's a terrible place. Don't get me wrong. Reddit is a terrible place. But, like... I don't know. What just happened? Are we still live? 
our concurrent viewers went from 24 to 8 according to according to my stream information right here 24 to 8 what just happened we got past all the good stuff and everybody just left well we're back to 23 now what is going on youtube <laughs> misrepresenting yeah that sounds right <laughs> check it on your phone it's 24 okay all right everybody's still here see like i was like eight what happened did everyone just like Pew, see ya and i was like oh geez all right goodbye um yeah reddit hates you and like all youtubers not named professor oh yeah that's true uh reddit does hate everybody i agree so then so then like okay so so joel you and i have to have a, a chat then sometime because i'm curious like what you guys have been doing to grow so much because I am dead in the water and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, like I just, I have no idea how to grow the channel. Do you know what I mean? Like I just don't, I don't know. I have no idea. So yeah. And I mean, that's, I, I never even went to Reddit in the first place. I didn't even go to Reddit in the first place, in fact, because of that exact issue, right? Anyway. Anyway. You've been experimenting like crazy this year. Okay, all right. I I'd be curious to pick your brain, if that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll message you on Discord. Sweet. All right, have a good night, Joel. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Jonathan, walking away with that foil Death's Oasis and that Eldritch Evolution. Um... I have not added them to your grab bag yet. Did we pull? I don't think we pulled yours yet. YouTube shorts are blowing up right now. Are they still doing really good for you, Unpacked? We've got a, a Niv-Mizzet Draco Genius there and a Rakshasha Death Dealer. All right. We've got Void Mage Apprentice. I've been thinking about putting them, doing them myself. Void Mage Nyx Fleece Ram. What? Did I just like cut my finger? I think I just cut my finger happened there oh man okay divest did i okay <laughs> infiltration lens did we get a paper cut on our finger what just happened huh i don't know like we didn't it felt like i cut my finger but i don't think i did like there's no there's no cut. One to two K views for most videos in less than a week. That's crazy. That's crazy, Unpacked. That's very good. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got Divest Infiltration Lens. You'll be back in a second. Gonna go drive the car for the first time. Just got your license. Wow. Congratulations, Ethan. That's awesome. You got a foil Archfiend of Ifnir. There you go, Jonathan. Congratulations. And then, whoa, what am I pulling you a second foil for? We don't want to pull that. We want to pull this. Here we go. Sign your pulls in blood. Ah! <laughs> Kodama's reach for Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And then we got to put Jonathan off to the side because we owe him a bundle still. I don't, Jonathan, are you still here? I think you were here earlier, but I don't know if you're here n anymore. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to you in a sec here. All right. And then we need Devin. Devin, are you here? I think you're here. At least you were here. Yeah, yeah, Devin's here. Okay. Father Frodo walking away with that Narset and that Cage Sun. Some very good pulls there. They're not monetized if viewed from the shorts stream, but they do seem to pull in subscribers too. Yeah, well, that's that's the main thing, right? I just want to like... Jonathan, you're back. Okay, perfect. Um, you want your bundle done tonight? I can do your bundle. Who will who will be back in about 45 minutes? I'll not... Who? What? We got a Mind Unbound and a Priest of the Blood Rite, along with Defiant Ogre. You guys saw me put 10 booster packs in here, right? You saw me put five in each side, and we haven't pulled any yet. Sage's Row Savant, Rock Smallers, and even when we were shuffling that one in, we saw another one from, like, last time that was still there. I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Okay, perfect. But you want your bundle. Do you want your bundle open tonight, Devin? I can open it tonight. That's fine. We got a Foil Ruined Servitor. And a Ancestral Mask. There you go, Father Frodo. Congratulations. 
Or would you prefer it open like on a separate stream is what I'm asking. Uh, we've got a lodestone. Yeah, okay, perfect. Lodestone golem. And then Jonathan, sure, yours for your use as well. Second harvest, nice. Okay, perfect. So we'll do a bundle of Zendikar Rising and a bundle of Core 2020, I believe it was, that Devin picked. Um, Whirlwind Adept, Mobile Garrison, Fairy Macabre, Adventurous Impulse, Pyroclasm, and a stream of unconscious or a stream of consciousness. Your foil is a fairy mechanist. And final parting as your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. So there you go. Congratulations, Father Frodo. There is your grab bags for this month. Come out of their bags. Boop boo doo boop. Boo 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 doo boo doo. Boo boo doo boo. Is Bro Conky here? Bro Conky, are you still here in chat? Are you hanging about? Um, did you see what your extra pulls were and do you want them? Uh, Damon H. Walk away that Godzilla, King of Monsters, and Butcher of Malakir. Um, all right. Damon, let's see what you get. Damon's here, I think. We've got a Dagatar, the Adamant, a Surakar Spellblade, which is a great little card, actually. Surakar Spellblade is hilarious. Sibsig Host, Grape Shot, Time to Storm Out, uh, Colossal Dreadmaw, Lurking Dreadeye, or Deadeye, uh, Aggressive Urge, and a Vashino Runner. And then a Foil Vampire Lacerator, and your commoner, uncommon worth a dollar or more. Bontu's Monument. Great card. Bontu's Monument is a solid little uncommon. So there you go, Damon. Congratulations. You're walking away with that Godzilla and that Butcher. And you got a Bontu's Monument to go with your your Butcher of Malakir. That's solid. Solid little thing. You'll hop on WoW later. Told the buddy I'm watching something right now. <laughs> All right. Sweet. I want to hop on WoW later too. But I can't because I got to do this. And then I have other things to do. Uh, got all the booster pack. Yeah, but... So, so Brad, uh, no name senor, at the beginning of this stream, I had forgotten to add the booster pack cards to the pile, so I did it live in front of everybody. I showed you how I did it. I took out, like, my dividers, and I put them in, and I poked out a section, and I shuffled them in, and then sucked them in. Like, so I don't know where they are in here, but there's five... I added five to both rows, which is ten total for the month, and while we were shuffling, we found some other booster packs that were still in the box from previous anyway travis is walking away with that glade muse and that smuggler's copter good old looter scooter who doesn't like little looter scooter we got a, ma a magistrate's scepter and a oh, tra uh, tra trauma crass uh, crat kratis trauma kratis is a great i love trauma kratis it's a great card we got bathe in dragonfire natural obolescence uh wings of velus veil vale, natural end Duskdale Worm, and a Sanctum Plow Beast with a Foil Gift of Strength. And a Victimize as your common or uncommon with dollar or more. There you go, Travis. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. Let's uh, put that in there. Boom. Ba boom Bickety bam boom bang This was fun. Going to leave the stream. Have a great rest of your night. Yeah. Thanks, Damon. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate you being here. Heather T. Walking away that eerie ultimatum and that heritage druid. Have yourself a wonderful night, Damon. Uh, we've got a Geist Honored Monk. Great card as well. And a Woodland Wanderer with a right into being. A Aether Stream Leopard. Sylvan Bounty. Disenchant. Uh, calculated Dismissal. And a Phyrexian Rager from 10th edition, by the way. And then we've got a foil sting scourger with a locust miser as the uncommon or uncommon or the uncommon or common worth a dollar or more. There you go, Heather. Congratulations. Enjoy your little grab bag for this month. I greatly appreciate your patronage. I hope you enjoy. If Athreos is Athreos your favorite deck to play, Mr. B? Um no, no, I don't think it's my favorite. Um, I think a Athreos is fun. It's a fun deck, um, but it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know what my favorite deck is, to be honest. I think my favorite is actually the Gabby deck, um, but I don't play it because it's, I haven't changed it at all. It's literally still the out-of-the-box deck. I just like the idea of like doing things at instant speed whenever you want just by cycling stuff, uh, like not actually casting things. I like that idea. 
But yeah, no worries, Travis. Hopefully the snow's not too bad and you can get through it pretty quick. Have yourself a wonderful night. I Thank you for be being here. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Heading off to a painting class with the family. Wow, all right. Sweet, Unpacked. Enjoy yourself at painting class. Have yourself a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out. Logan's walking away with that foil extended art Yorion and a Michaeloth. All right, Michaeloth, what do we got? But boom, we got Daring Thief and we got Necro Necropolis Regent. Very nice little mythic there. Curio Vendor, Gravity Well, Commune with Nature, Totally Lost, Dawning Angel, and a Flurry of Wings. Foil, Soul Reaper of Mogus, and... A reliquary tower. All right. There you go, Logan. Congratulations. Nice little grab bag right there for you. I hope you enjoy. There it is. Boom. Logan's done duded right there. That's what we say. Done duded. Jordan. Jordan's walking away with that Savi Triome and that Subterranean Tremor. All right, Jordan. Let's see what you get. MTG Hermit. Let's see. But boom. How about a Caves of Coleos or Co Coilos and a Rattle Chains? Rattle them chains. Smoke. Smoke Spew Invoker. That's the one. Radiant Judgment. Or Radiance. Yeah, Radiance Judgment. It's got an apostrophe, yes. We got a Face Falter. Enforcer Griffin. Dazzling Lights. And a Suicidal Charge. And your foil is a Beloved Princess. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a Golgari Thug. You got like a, a, a real weird mix of cards this month. Didn't you? You got two white card, three white cards, two black cards, two blue cards. Oh no, you got three black cards. You got nothing in green. No green cards this month. Not a single green card, but you did get a black red card. So your only red card is also a black red card. So very, uh, very interesting little pile of cards there. And it goes perfectly with your Mardu that you didn't open any red. But you did get a lot of white and black, so there is that. There is that. Thai food has arrived. Oh man, Thai food. Lucky. You must back, go battle the young the younglings for the wontons. All right, cool and pro. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your dinner, sir. Hopefully, you don't have to fight too hard. We've got Hunter Isis walking away with that King Caesar foil and that Kunjali Sunwing. You are welcome, MTG Hermit. You are welcome. Inventor's Fair. Nice little pull there. And a Will Breaker. Okay, okay. Ranging Raptor. Uh, Defiant Salvager. Veteran Armorer. Yes, Merry Christmas to you too, sir. Uh, Veteran Armorer. Topple the Statue. Core Chant. And a Burrenton Shield Bearers. And your uh, common or uncommon dollar or more is victimized. But you got to get your foil too. Let's not forget your foil. Your foil is Echoing Courage. Echo Encourage, a great little card for any tribal deck. Um, because, like, if you're playing, like, elves and you're making a whole bunch of elf tokens or something like that, or, like, let's say you're making beasts because you're in green, all of your beasts get that bonus, right? That's the whole point of Echo Encourage is it gives it... Any creatures that are named the same, they all get the bonus, right? That's what, those Echoing cards from the... I think it was the original Mirrodin block? Was it original Mirrodin? Or was it Scars of Mirrodin that brought in the Echoing cards? I think it was original Mirrodin. Echoing Truth was the one that everyone loved because it was like bounce the card and every other card named the same. And so like you could be like, oh, see that token you have 50 of? Bounce. Is Victimize still over a dollar with the reprint? Yes. As far as I understand, yes. Uh, when I last checked it, which was literally like two weeks ago, it was still over. Um, we can double check it. Let's look. Victimize. We've given it to two people now, so I sure hope it's over. Uh, that's the Eternal Masters version, I think. Yeah, two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents. Right? I think that's the Eternal Masters version, right? Yeah, EMA. Yes, it's two dollars and fifty cents on Goldfish. So I mean, like, I don't. Know, I'm. That's what I trust. It's so what I trust. You know why I trust? Because Goldfish lists Amazon, Card Kingdom, eBay, TCG, Market Price, and TCG Mid to calculate their price. And then they average the price between all of those sites because they can be all over the place. For instance, Card Kingdom is $1.79 for that card, right? Whereas eBay has it listed as $3. TCG Market Price is $2.71 and the Mid is $2.50. So it's kind of all over the place. 
right? Uh, anyway, we got Ghost Unit walking away with that Species Specialist and that Stolen Strategy. All right, Ghost Unit, let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. Oh, we got a Bearer of Silence, and we got an Alvenwald Observer with Sailor of Means, uh, a Rose Cub Relic, Cower in Fear, Psychic Spear, Llanowar Elves, and a Gift of the Gargantuan. Your foil is a Borderland Marauder, and your common or common dollar more is a Honden of Cleansing Fire. A Honden of Cleansing Fire. This uh, this Observer is kind of an interesting card. So it's a 6-6 six, six for 6. It says whenever a creature you control with toughness 4 or greater dies, draw a card. So it's kind of an interesting like Golgari type card, right? You definitely want to uh, be playing it in some sort of Sacrifice Outlet deck. It actually works really well with um, Oketra from... Not from not the Amonkhet Oketra, the one from World Spark. That's like whenever you cast a creature, it makes a 4-4 four, four token. Um, so it's a great little card in that deck because there are 4-4 four, four tokens that you can then sack and you get more when you play creatures. So you can just sack them because it's not a it doesn't say that it has to be a non-token 4-4. Four, four. It just says whenever a creature with 4 toughness or more dies, right, you, you draw a card. So it's a great little way to play around with like So green green-white with that, not bad. Not bad. You just got to find a sack outlet, right? I mean, you can play Abzan, right? And then get a nice bunch of sack outlets in black. Seems pretty good. Gigantha the Wellspring with Whir of Invention. All right, Phil. Phil gets two grab bags. Let's see what Phil gets. We got uh, Anthio uh, Anthusa, set as in hero, and release the gremlins. Morgue Burst, good old Morgue Burst, Otherworldly Journey, and of course you are welcome, Ghost Unit. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and your support. We got Mo Morgue Burst, Otherworldly Journey, Skeletonize, Boros Fury Shield, Bant Sojourners, Shrine of Boundless Growth, a Foil Grizzly Spectacle, and, and, we got another Victimize. <laughs> I'm glad it's over a dollar because we got another one. For those of you out there as well, I mean, there's only there's 15 of you here now, uh, but make sure you go check out my Twitter account, Mr. Bevers, uh, Mr. Underscore Bevers on Twitter, and check out the videos that I'm posting because I am filling up a box to make a box like the Ultimate CFB boxes that you can buy, except that mine is like way spicier, and there's more to come. I'm adding something to the box every day up until December 10th when I draw the winner. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We've got, uh, Corrupted Gra Grafstone, Unexpectedly Absent, Moan of the Unhallowed, Fairy Mechanist, Nausea, Rally the Righteous, uh, Vivisection, Sunspear Sik Shikari, Foil Enraged Revolutionary, and a Vampire of the Dire Moon. Don't tell them what I will get on December 10th. <laughs> they just would envy me. I mean, fa that's fair, Maholnik. That's fair. <laughs> Don't tell other people what you're sending to me. They're just going to get jealous. Fair. You're, it's fair. It's fair. I appreciate it, Neil. I really do. Um, so, I don't like to stream this onto Twitch at the same time as YouTube, mainly because I live in Canada and our internet is garbage. And so I don't want to like wreck the bandwidth up by streaming it to two services. Now I know that there's a way to stream it to like a third party service that then streams it to the two things, but then I have to have two chats open and then I have to be responding to both. And people might get confused as to like what I'm talking about because people in one chat are talking about a thing that are not talking about it in the other chat. And it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Also, technically, as an affiliate on Twitch, um, technically as an affiliate on Twitch, you're, if you put something on Twitch, it has to stay exclusive to Twitch for up to 48 hours, I believe it is, before it can be put onto other platforms. Um, so, like, if you stream something to Twitch, you cannot put it onto YouTube within 48 hours. Otherwise, you're in breach of your contract as an affiliate. That's At least that's what the wording was that I read when I became an affiliate, which was, like, 
two and a half, three years ago now at this point. Um, so like maybe that's changed and maybe they don't have that requirement anymore. I don't know, but I haven't heard any different. So I'm sticking to what I originally agreed to, which was everything has to be exclusive to Twitch. Like when you stream something to Twitch, it has to be exclusive to there for at least 48 hours before you can do it on YouTube. So streaming to both at the same time, I don't know if that like is a loophole and it lets you through because you're technically not putting it exclusively onto Twitch in the first place. You're putting it on both at the same time so they can't really come after you for it. I have no idea. It probably does, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I am risk adverse at best. Peter S. Uh, walking away with that foil Ozolith and that Inquisition of Kozilek. Yeah. Also, just reading two chats. I mean, I barely can read one chat. <laughs> Den Protector and Notion Thief. Two very good cards, by the way. Those cards are both very good. Blinding Frog, Twilight Panther, Conflagurate, Pyrophobia, uh, Ruination Rioter, Sigiled Behemoth, and a... What is this? That's actually not supposed to be there? Yeah, there we go. Is Pyrophobia... Is that the one that I'm thinking it is? No, it's not. Pyrohemia is the one I'm thinking it is. And then we've got a Rot Shambler in foil. And then we've got, ba -ba 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 boom, a Buried Alive as the common or uncommon with dollar or more. There you go, Peter. That's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second. Pull your second. We've got an Indomitable Archangel and a niv Mizzet Draco Genius along with Disperse, Hold at Bay, Ro uh, Ronom Unicorn, Windcaller Avon, Scab Goliath, and a Night Terrors. Along with a foil, Pull from Eternity. Nice little card there. And a Viscera Seer. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Viscera Seer, a great little card as well. There you go, Peter. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. Greg, you're here. What's up, buddy? I hope you're having a good day. I know, I'm streaming this a little bit earlier than normal, so it's, like, not too bad for you over there. Like, is this really bright and early for you over there? Because it's, you're, you're Sunday now, right? Do I even need this yet? Maybe I don't even need this yet. I got up and got this and don't even need to get it yet. Is there more? There's more in here still. Come out of there, you silly bags. You silly, silly bags. All right. Akihiko. Late afternoon. Just after 1 p.m. Yeah, so like, so it's 7 p.m. here. So you're six hours behind us, but tomorrow. That's how, that's how I'm going to remember it. You're six hours. It's a six hour difference between us. But, but, you're a day ahead. <laughs> it's a six hour difference, but you're a day ahead. Hey, Dobby, how's it going? I just mailed out your packs uh, yesterday. So hopefully they will get there soon. Uh, I can't say that they'll get there soon. I have no idea because Christmas holiday. Let me know when you get them. Um, if you don't get them by like mid-January, let me know. Um, because chances are that means they're probably on the way back to me um, because I did the mailing address wrong because I'm an idiot. Um, so if that's the case, <laughs> I will mail them back out to you. Don't worry. They will be coming to you. Uh, but, but just be, be aware that if you don't have them by like mid January, they might be on their way back to me and I have to resend them and update the address. But I did the address basically how you wrote it down. Um, so it should hopefully get to you. Put it this way, I've mailed something else out to somebody in Argentina just like, I think, about a month ago, and I believe they got it. They never contacted me saying they didn't get it, so I hope that they got it. Put it that way. Uh, Akihiko, walking away with that uh, Zagoth Triumph and that Zendikar Resurgence. No, it's complicated. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. A Chroma's Vengeance is a nice little card, and a Mesa Enchantress, which is not... You know what? I'm going to pull you another rare, because Mesa Enchantress isn't a rare anymore. So you're going to get a Wilt Leaf Liege as well. See, you're going to get all three. Look at that. Boom. We got a Zombie Brute. See there, Di Diego. Diego is the one that I mailed it to, and he got it. There you go. Perfect. Zombie Brute, Haunter uh, of the Night of Night Vale, uh, Aether Snipe, uh, Phyrexian Rager, Undercity Scavenger, Od Odidius, o Odius, Odius, 
trow. My goodness. A foil grasping throw. And a psychic corrosion. There you go, Akihiko. Congratulations. You got an extra rare pull because technically the Mesa Enchantress isn't a rare. So we, you know, we, we, we fix those things on the fly here. We fix those things on the fly here at Mr. B because uh, we don't want you to get gypped. We don't want you to get gypped. All right. Brad is next. And Brad is walking away with that Godzilla Primeval Champion and that Herald of the Pantheon. All right, Brad. Two grab bags for you. You're getting a Hellrider and a Silence the Believers along with Ancestral Vengeance, Thriving Ibex, Jessian Thief. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Lancer Sliver. Huh. Blade Brand and an Assault Strobe. My goodness. And what? Well, no sound. Is the sound cut out? It should still be there, right? Okay, God. I mean, it wasn't com it was just it wasn't complicated to explain. It was just Google was telling me something different than what you had told me, and I and then I got confused. So it's not your fault. It's totally my fault. Uh, Crystal slipper and an Johnny's welcome. There we go. Nice. Okay, Brad, that's your first one. Let's see what your second one is. But boom, we've got, ooh, a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. That's a nice one. And a Ruins of Orin Reef. A War Flare. A Stalwart Aven. Fiery Temper. Great little removal spell. Talisman of Resilience. And a Sign in Blood, along with a Merfolk Looter. Hey, look. And then a Foil Fiery Temper. Now you got two copies. Two copies of Fiery Temper in the same grab bag. And a nice Poison Tip Archer. Poison Tip Archer is a great little card. I believe Davey was looking for a copy of that uh, uh, today, actually. I, mean, I, was, I messaged him, and I was like, I have a pile of them sitting around, so if you need one, just tell me, and I will mail one to you. Because Davey is a great guy, and he deserves all of the support we can give him. And if I can give him support in the form of literally just mailing him a single piece of cardboard, I will do so. Broke Honky. I don't know if you're still here, but you got that Nikara and that uh, Archfiend of Depravity. Both really cool cards. We've got an Advent of the Worm and a huh, Zealous Conscripts. All right. Not a bad little card. River Darter. A Null. Uh, or a, a Nuller. A, a Nuller. Why is it? Oh, it's it's a foreign language. I don't even know how that ended up in here. Anyway, we'll pull you an extra card. Uh, Skeletonize. Summoner's Bane. Uh, Humbler of Mortals. And a Thunder Strike. So we'll pull an extra card from here. You're getting a Sly Requisitioner. And a Foil Strength in Numbers. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Honden of Seeing Winds. So there you go, Bro Conky. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. That is your grab bag for this month. You've got those extra Godzilla stuff things in there. Good things, good stuff. All right, we got Tom. Tom is walking away with that extended art. Obosh. Oh my gosh, it's Obosh. And an overwhelming stampede from Core 2011. And you are getting a Mystic Sneak. And a Mob Rule. Good old Mob Rule. Giant Dust Wasp. Iron Shell Beetle. Erratic Mutation. Power Stone Shard. Uh, volunteer Reserves. Yawning, yawning Fisher. A... Foil Explosive Vegetation, which is great, and it is one from Dragons of Tarkir, and a Wood Elves as your common or uncommon dollar or more. Your foil is actually a common or uncommon worth a dollar or more, so you're getting a foil common or uncommon worth a dollar or more, and a common and or uncommon worth a dollar or more. So, not too shabby for you there. Uh, mob Rule paired with, uh, uh, oh my gosh, it's Obosh. Is that what you're saying? Like to pair it with Obosh? Uh, we got MTG Unpacked. Welcome with that foil Ketria Triome and that Ambassador Laquatus. All right, Unpacked. Let's see what you get. Unpacked is getting a Lore Seeker and an Obstinate Bailoth. Hey! A booster pack! We finally found one! And it's not even one that we added this week. Just so we're clear. Like, the ones we added today were all mountains. That's a swamp. Swamps are what we added last month. No, Obek uh, from Commander Legends. That ends the turn. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. 
We've got uh, uh, Mark of Mutiny, Strange Augmentation, Whisk Away, and a uh, Cauldron Dance along with a Nathosaur. Your foil is a Mog Fanatic. Yeah, we're giving him a Goblin. Goblin! Foil Goblin. Just for Unpacked. That's perfect. And a Hunden of Cleansing Fire. Okay, we owe MTG Unpacked a Booster Pack. All right, unpacked. Boom, a battle bond booster pack for unpacked. Now he can now he can open it or put it into a patron thing or whatever. He, it's his pack now. He can do whatever he wants with it. You hear me, unpacked? Do whatever you want with that. You don't have to open it. You can you can just put it into your patron box things that you do if you want. I don't care. You spent two hours preparing packs for your patrons. You deserve every cent. Dobby, I spend way more than two hours preparing this box <laughs> every month, but it's worth it. It's worth every goddamn minute of it. Let me tell you. We got Tony. Tony's walking away with that foil Nethroy Apex of Death, or not the foil. It's an alternate art Nethroy with a Chancellor of the Annex. Very cool. All right, Tony. Tony gets two grab bags. Tony gets a curse, cursed or cruel ultimatum with a necrotic plague, conviction, gear per. Osprey, Commune with the Gods, Relic Runner, Chandra's Outrage, Demir Guildmage, Foil Ojatai's Breath, and an Ajani's Welcome. There you go. Congratulations, Tony. Let's pull your second grab bag. Second grab bag for Tony. Ba boom. We're getting a Brood Butcher and a Phylactery Lich. Very nice. Uh, Canker Abomination, Muse Drake. Welkin Guide, uh, Sigiled Skink, Doomblade, uh, Volcanic Awakening, and that's it. That's it. That's all we get. It's just six, right? And we got a Foil Sky Skiff, and an Arcane Denial. There you go. Congratulations, Tony. I hope you enjoy. There is your grab bags for this month. Thank you for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. All right, Virvel. Virvel's walking away with that Knight of the White Orchid and that Baby Godzilla foil. Good old foil Baby Godzilla. But boom. I appreciate it, Dobby. I appreciate it. Boros Reckoner. Personal Sanctuary. Great little card. We talked, we've talked about this before. Boo! See, Bob's here again. Boo! He missed it the first time, but he saw it this time. Boo! Baby Godzilla, boo! I talked about it, Bob. I was like, Bob hates Baby Godzilla. I don't know why, but he hates he hates Baby Godzilla. He said it was a bad arc, right? A bad a bad arc in the Godzilla series, right? That's what it was. You need to look at look up some good rogues to pimp out Hanawan. There are some very good rogues out there, and there are going to be some very good rogues coming in the next set because the next set is the D and D set, right, or whatever, or the one that's coming up in not like maybe not the next one. Is it the next one that's coming up that's the D and D set? Or is the next one Strixhaven, which is the Harry Potter set? I can't remember what the release order is. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Dark Dabbling, Bond of Discipline, Furnace Whelp, Goblin Electromancer, Hobgoblin Dragon uh, Dragoon, and a Thundering Saratok. No, it's Vikings next? Okay. I can I can never remember. We got Doorkeeper, Foil Doorkeeper, and then we've got Ooh, Rhythm of the Wild. Great little card. There you go, Virvel. Congratulations. Cal uh, Kaldheim next, and then the D D set? Or is it uh, or is it Keldheim and then Strixhaven and then the D&D &D set? I don't remember. Listen, there's too much product. They're releasing too much product. Justin K is walking away with that title Barracuda with that Winter Orb. Good old Winter Orb. All right, Justin, what do you got? Ooh, Amara. Tend uh, Tendris. Tyrant of Discord. I, I, I don't notice Justin on my Discord server, so I can't say that he's a tyrant. Um, Vivian's Grizzly. Uh, Deep Cavern Imp, Court Homunculus, Keldon Raider, Anna Sanctuary, and a Zealous Guardian. And a Ruinous Path foil, promo, promo Ruinous Path, I should say, and a Boros Charm. So you got a nice foil promo, um, uh, you know, uh, from the foil pool. So that's good. It's Vikings, then Mages, then D&D. &D. Okay, there you go, see? The frames are the frames dropping? Are they are they pooping the bed? We dropped a whole bunch of frames. I can see it. 
I can see that we dropped a bunch of frames, but we're not currently dropping frames. So I don't know what happened, but we're back. We should be back. It says the stream's current bitrate is lower than recommended bitrate. We recommend that. And then it says open widget. But I can see in OBS that it looks fine now. So it should be back. Are we back? Hello, frames. Are you back? Oh, I should pause this, actually. Don't need to be running that, do I? Don't need to be watching that. Okay, Aether Revolt is next. I'm starting to... I can start... I'm starting to feel it in my throat. My throat is starting to, like, be all raspy and be like, Hey, you've been talking for far too long. And I'm like, look, man, it's two and a half hours of me talking. You're going to deal with it, throat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. The split in two set. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Ether Revolt's walking away with that Yadaro and that Coercive Portal. Coercive Portal and getting a Dampening Matrix, or a Damping Matrix, I should say, and a Niv-Mizzet Draco Genius, along with Sitinal Wood Readers, Enslaved Scout, Amass the Components, uh, Garbage Fire, good old Garbage Fire, Ice Cage, and Constricting Tendrils, along with a Foil Benevolent Bodyguard, Oh, oh, this one. And a counter spell. So there you go, Aether Revolt. Enjoy your grab bag. I greatly appreciate your patronage. I hope you enjoy. All right, let's do this. Where's our, where's our, where's our baggie? There's our baggie. All right, this baggie, these baggies are done duded. Get out, baggies. Look, see, an empty, empty bag of bags. It's an empty bag of bags. So let's do that, like so. Do this, like so. Oh, well, those all just... Oh, well, those tokens live there now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's not worry about it. We got Connor. Connor, what are you walking away with? Connor is walking away with a foil mythos of Brokos and a fumigate. All right, Connor. We got Guild, and we got Sanctifier of Souls. We got Unflinging Courage. We got Warren Weirding. We've got Marsh Flitter. We've got a Johnny's Presence. We've got uh, uh, Pis uh, Pistus Strike or Pistus Strike or I don't know, whatever. V Vulnerable Monk? Pistus Strike? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Pis Pistus Strike? I don't know. Uh, Foil Regal Bloodlord and... A, ooh, a persistent partitioners. Good old Mill. Who doesn't like Mill, right, Connor? Everyone likes Mill. Everybody likes milling their opponents out. It's the most fun way to do things, right? Now, do these, do these, are these all stuck together? Of course they are. Why would they, why would they not be stuck together? Look at this. Look. Look. Huh? Huh? Look at this. Look, look. There you go. I don't like mill. I hate it. <laughs> that's that. That's what happens. You get milled out too many times, and then you hate it. So then you become the monster instead of the victim. That's how that works. All right, Corbin. Corbin is next. Corbin's walking away with that Everquill Phoenix alternate art and that Molten Psyche. All right. All right, we've got a Icy Blast... We've got a scramble verse. We've got a mark of the vampire, a rogue refiner, a shelter. We've got golden hind, priest of Norn, and a hunt the weak. Foil, amass the components, great little foil, and a Honden of seeing winds. So there you go, Corbin. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. And there you are. Ba boom. There you are. Got there. Ken F. Ken F is walking away with that foil Geigen with that Dawn of Hope. Ken gets two grab bags. Ken, let's see what you get. We got Artisan of Forms. We've got Soul of Chandelar. We've got Torrent of Stone. Prophet, uh, Prophetic Prism. Undying Rage. Plummet. 
Ver, uh, Verdian Corruptor, a Viridian Corruptor, I should say, New Farov Guild Mage, a Foil Grave Strength, and your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Psychic Corrosion. There it is. Ken, that was your first grab bag. Let's pull your second. Ba boom. An Immolation Shaman with a Siege Gang Commander. All right, all right. Siege Gang Commander, great. Squelch. Cackling Imp. <laughs> Dirge of Dread. Feast of Dreams. Insatiable Soul Eater. And a Snake Umbra with a Foil Blight Soul Druid. And a Relentless Rats. So there you go, Ken. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your uh, grab bag for this month and your extra pulls and all that good stuff. Thank you so much. All right, Eric. Eric C is next. Eric, what do we got for you? Eric is getting that Dredge the Mire and that Mayor of Averbrook. I think Eric is still here. I think Eric, I think I saw Eric was still in chat. And we've got Extractor Demon and a Mystic Snake. Oh, Booster Pack. We did it. Got there. Still, not one of the ones we added. That's the blue one. We added red. Remember, all of the ones we added this month were mountains. We got Embril Gear Smasher, Fathom Seer, Cloaked Siren, and an Overrun, and a Court Homunculi. All right. Foil Corpse Traders. And a Tatyova Booster Pack. Let's open it up. Uh, we're shipping. Uh, do you want me to open it up? I don't know, Eric, are you here in chat? I'm shipping unpacked his pack sealed. Should I start shipping these sealed to everybody? Does everybody want these sealed? Because, like, I've given up on the whole, like... The reason I wasn't sending pack like packs sealed is because I'm not allowed to send packs across the border that are within the last two years of Wizards' release. Um, if I want to open a store. You can't be caught doing that kind of thing. Otherwise, Wizards will blackball you and remove all of your ability to essentially purchase cards uh, from distributors. I don't see myself owning a store anytime soon. So I can send these sealed. What do people think? What does chat think? I'm going to wait for chat to tell me what they think. Because Eric's not here. Or at least he hasn't responded. So I'm guessing he's not here. Doing a dance, doing a dance, dancing, dancing, doing a dance. Dancey dance, dance, the dance, 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 the dance, 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 the dance, 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 dance. Um, should be up to the patron. Open it. We want the goodies. Okay. What did we, what had happened here? <laughs> friggin, friggin, I love you, man. All right, two people say open. One person says leave it to the patron, but the patron's not here, so we're going to open it. Eric, we're opening your pack. It's, it's too late because you didn't answer. And well, I mean, you couldn't answer, so. Anyway, Battle Bond, right? So we got one, two, three. Do we even care about the commons and stuff? We just want to go right to the rare, right? And it's right here because it's the Japanese packs, right? So, like, we want, like, to put the card up here again, like up here, and then put the focus. Focus! Ooh, well, that's a spicy hit from this pack, isn't it? Diabolic Intent. It's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. Now, I mean, it's no Vampiric Tutor and it's no Diabolic Tutor. But it's pretty close. It's pretty close to those things. Very good card. And then just Tenacious Dead, Lava Field, okay. And then Commons, which no one cares about, right? Nobody cares about the Commons. 
Nobody cares about the commons, right? Sorry, Unpacked, you didn't get the diabolic intent. It just, it just didn't happen. Didn't happen for you. Could have got there, just didn't. Could have got there, just didn't. Could have been a surprise. I mean, it'll still be a surprise to unpack when he opens it. There you go. Eric, congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. All right, Devin. Devin's here. Uh, we got Bonders Enclave Extended Art and a Foil Reaper King. All right, Devin, what are, you, what are we getting for you? Let's see. And then we owe Devin a... Uh, well, he might not be here. He might not be that back yet. We got a Hellrider. A, we got a Malak. Is it Paragon? We got a Safe Hold Elite. We got an Elusive Spell Fist. We've got a Stupefying Touch. We got a Whisperer of the Wilds. We've got a Bog Raiders. And we've got a Cathari Bomber with a Foil Blood Toll Harpy. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Bontu's Monument. Well, there you go, Devin. It's not too shabby. Bontu's Monument is a great little card. And uh, Devin, we owe a bundle to. So we're going to put Devin off to the side with Jonathan's stuff. Over here. There we go. See? Everything is good. Everything is awesome. Everything is better when you're doing all right. Joseph, why? Walking with that foil extended art crystalline golem, or crystalline giant, which looks gorgeous, by the way, in foil. And then we've got a palace siege. We've got a call of the herd, and we've got a Orin Reef Hydra. Orin Reef Hydra is a great little card too, great for landfall. Uh, we got a pallid microderm, a kiln fiend, a plume veil, stonewise fortifier, natural connection, and a vampire lacerator with a curious obsession as your common or uncommon dollar or more. And your foil is a rare foil, rare curse of the swine. There you go, Joseph. Congratulations. I'm just gonna flip those around there. Almost forgot your foil, but I didn't. I got there. I remembered. See, I'm starting to lose my brain already because we've been streaming for three hours almost. All right, let's see. Who's next? Gav is next. We've got so many more people to do still. Look at this. Look at this pile of people still. Oh, my goodness. We got Gav. All right, Gav, what do we get? We got an Is It Chemister and a Remorseful Cleric. Oh, booster pack. Booster pack. That's one of the ones we just added. Moonglove Extract. Siege Mastodon, finally, Blood Crazed Hoplite, Gissa's Courier, and a Gatekeeper Vine, or Gate Creeper, Gate Creeper Vine, Foil Expedition Raptor, and a Bogle, Slippery Bogle, a Slippery Bogle. All right, Gavin. I don't think Gavin's here either. Gavin messaged me and was like, I have to, um, you know, uh, you know, due to financial things and wizards having so many products and stuff, he's sort of getting out of magic uh, for a little while. So he was like, I'm going to dip down to the to the dollar tier. And I was like, that's totally fine. Thank you for letting me know. And then he was like, but I can't tell if it's charged me for this month or not. And I was like, I don't know. I won't know until like the fourth or fifth. And then I can tell you and I can refund you the, the change if you want. And he was like, nah, he's like, if it's already charged me, just give me the grab bag for this month. And I was like, you're making a good decision because I'm giving out extra things because it's December. And he was like, oh, all right. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> So, appreciation to to, uh, to Gavin there. All right, what do we got? We got a warrior token. We got a swamp. And then big money. Foil swamp. We got a foil. <laughs> Did we get one? What do we got? Let's see. Okay, it's a rare. And it's probably white and or blue. Because it's 53. What do we think? White? Oh, it's black. Oh, because I write because with this one, they put all of like the new cards in the set, the ones that weren't reprints up front. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. F big money foil swamp. Yes. Got there. Swamp. Big money foil swamp. Yes. That's that's the sound clip, folks. That's the that's the teaser trailer for the video. Swamp. Big money. Big money. Foil swamp. Yes. Thrilling Encore is not a bad little card. It's not too it's not too shabby. Then we've got a, a Gold Forge Sentinel, Oracle's Insight, and a Fertilid uh, as the uncommon. So nothing like crazy, crazy good to write home about. But we did get a nice foil swamp, so we'll take it. So there you go, Gavin. Congratulations and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Ethan. I don't think we've pulled your grab bag yet, have we? Did we pull Ethan's grab bag yet? Let's let's look. Matt, Tyler, Raphael, Tice, Ethan. No, Ethan, you're still here. We haven't got to you yet. 
Don't worry. We're good. We're good. Matt S is next. Matt is walking away with two grab bags. And Matt is walking away with a the the uh, Godzilla version of Nethroy, which is Biolante. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, Bob will correct me in chat. Right, Bob? Right, Bob? Is it Biolante or is it something else and I'm just butchering it? It's probably something else and I'm butchering it. All right, what do we got? We got an Extractor Demon and a Pitless Horde along with Olivia's Dragoon, Leave in the Dust, Agent of Masks, Arcan Arcanus Web, uh, Antler Skulkin, Penumbra Spider, Foil Tidal Wave, and your common or uncommon dollar more is a Kodama's Reach. There you go, Matt. All right, that's your first grab bag. Second grab bag, but boom, an Ash uh, Arishin Foremost. Oh, and we got a uh, Serendib Sorcerer from Plane Shift, or Planar Chaos, Planar Chaos, Dark Ritual, Copper Carapace, Kintree Invocation, Renowned Weaver, Im Im uh, Intimidator Initiate, and Path of Peace. Your foil is an Armadillo Cloak. Cool. Armadillo Cloak is a great little card. And a ooh, Wilderness Reclamation. Nice little card. So there you go, Matt. Congratulations. Wilderness Wreck actually really what really good for an Ethroy, probably. Right? Untap all your lands. Be able to cast your instance of sorcery or like your instance on your opponent's turn. And then like, you know, do things like removal spells and such on your opponent's turn. And then use your turn to cast your creatures. Sounds like a good plan. Tyler B. Nesting Grounds. And Siphon Mind. All right, Tyler. What else we get? What's your grab bag going to be? Ooh, a Boros Reckoner. And a Solemnity. Solemnity is not a bad little card. Naturalize. Boros Swift Blade. Carrion Feeder. Not a bad little card either. Uh, Blade Tusk Boar. Quicksilver Geyser. And, uh, or Quick, yeah, Quicksilver Geyser. Dark Betrayal. Foil Treasure Keeper. Treasure Keeper, a great little card from uh, 25. And a Mind Funeral. Mind Funeral, also a nice little card. Treasure Keeper wasn't from 25, but um, Treasure Keeper was what, from War of the Spark? Or BFC? Or somewhere? I can't remember exactly what. I don't remember what set it was from. Does it show it on here? Let's see. Oh, it's from Aether Revolt. <laughs> Durr. Durr. From the artifact set. What a surprise. Uh, Raphael is next. All right, Raphael. We got a Merchant's Dockhand and a Notion Thief. Notion Thief, great little card. Training Drone. Palaka Worm, uh, Strangle Root Geist, Sand Blast, Short Sword, Herpa Derp, uh, and then a Steady Progress with a Foil Phantasmal Boar, or Bear, <laughs> and an Angar. All right, so Raphael normally likes me to sign his cards. Raphael, you'll have to let me know. I don't think you're here, but uh, let me shoot me like a message on Patreon or whatever, and let me know if you want me to sign your cards. I'll put them off to the side for now. Um, and uh, that way we can I can sort it out uh, later. So I'll put you off to the side over here. All right, Tice is next. Tice, what are you walking away with? Tice is walking away with that foil Karuga and rolling roiling regrowth. Roiling regrowth. Boom! We got a Hellkite Charger, and we got a two-headed giant along with Rose Thorn Hal Halberd, Alley Strangler, Sylvan Bounty, Regicide. Uh, High Spire Mantis and a Blighted Agent with a Foil Brazen Scourge and a Beast Within. Beast Within is not a bad little card. There you go, Tice. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag this month and your little extra pull that we did for the holidays. All right, Ethan, we're here. You made it back in time. All right, Ethan's walking away with that uh, Uluna, Apex of Wishes, and that Palace Jailer. Um, so let's pull your grab bags here, Ethan. Let's see. You're getting a Hypersonic Dragon and a Summary Dismissal. Summary Dismissal is not a bad little card. Duskwood Bailoth, Deadweight, Repeal, Tormenting Voice, a Fire Urchin, a Stormcloud Jin, a Stromkirk Mentor, foil and a curious obsession all right cool 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 ethan let's see second grab bag Ooh, lich's mastery there you go a new card for you to give away with that new commander oh oh cut that marsh flats 
Marsh Flats. Got there. Bam, 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 bam. Living Lore. Spark Reaper. And Sylvan Bounty. We got a Blood Toll Harpy. A Cavrix tor uh, Torch. And a Supernatural Stamina. With a Foil Hyena Pack. And a Might Sliver. I mean, I would say that that's pretty good. These two, Lich's Mastery is uh, not, like, amazing, but it's a good card, especially with the new stuff that's come out. Uh, that new, like, little devil dude. Um, and you wanted these, right? You wanted these little boys, right? The little dinosaur guys? They've got humans on the back. But the little foil dinosaurs. All right. You got it. Going into the bag right here. See, look, boom. There they are. Right in there with your grab bag. Boom. All right. Congratulations, Ethan. Yeah, Blim. That Blim boy. Oh, you do have two more grab bags. Yeah, because it charged you. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. You do have two more grab bags. So Ethan joined at the end of November... And it was like, I think you joined like, what, like two days before the end of November or something like that. And so like you actually had to get two for November and then two for December. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. I completely friggin forgot. All right. So your next one is an Abzan Ascendancy and a Simic Sky Swallower. So there it's like it's making up for the last one where you got the Marsh Flats and the Lich's Mastery. <laughs> Sultai, Sultai Skullkeeper, Butcher's Glee, Fist of the Ironwood, Farika's Mending or Farika's Mender. Yeah, a Lava Axe and an Azorius Arrester. Your foil is a fan favorite. You need... You needed this? Well, then I'm happy that you got it. Oh, but look, you got a nice Swiftfoot Boots there, too. Solid little Uncommon. Very good. All right, last one. Your store was out of them. All right, got a Mythic here. We got a Cargan Dragon Lord. And a Nibblus of Frost. Nibblus of Frost is a great little card as well. Uh, Final Sting Fairy. Uh, T Tilonali's Crown. Olivia's Dragoon. Lanawar Empath. Um, Golden Glow Moth. And a Dragon Fodder. Your foil is an Angel's Mercy. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Golgari Thug. Whew. I'm, I'm glad you reminded me, Ethan, because I completely forgot that, you, that I owed you four grab bags. Thank you for reminding me. So there you go. Boom. And then this goes in front like that because they can't go in the same bag because, you know, they just don't. It won't fit. It won't. It won't fit. It won't fit. Thank you, Ethan. I really appreciate your support. And congratulations on getting your license. Everyone give a big round of applause for Ethan getting his license. That's rad. Mike. V walking away with that Dorat and that Angelic Chorus. All right, we got an Etched Monstrosity and a Path of Bravery. Wish, uh, Wishful Merfolk, uh, Hana Kami, Pyrite Spellbomb, Collateral Damage, Unsummon, and a Time to Feed. Your one common and uncommon was victimized two months in a row. <laughs> well, now you have two copies of victimized. Good thing it's two dollars and fifty cents, right? At least it's something that you can get, you can sell if you want, right? That's the whole point. Stasis snare and a devoted druid. There you go, Mike. Foil stasis snare seems pretty good. Foil stasis snare seems like a good card. But yeah, a, a sub ice. Yeah, uh, we got a Jin of wishes. And a planar outburst. Did you look at what you were getting though from the extra? We we cracked an entire box of uh, collectors packs from Ikoria and then gave those out as extras to everybody. Uh, Hunt the weak, Malfust revolutionary, deranged assistant, quest of the goblin lord, uh, ogre, uh, menial, and giant tortoise, with a foil stocking stones, and ooh a red elemental blast. There you go. Congratulations, Mike. There you have it. Because Mr. B is the best. That's what the B stands for. Everyone gets it confused all the time. They think B stands for bad at things or, you know, bald, you know, because I am bald. But it actually just stands for best, right? Mr. Best.
It's definitely a great card, a nice card, and it's great in commander. It is. Victimize is a great card in commander. Kairu Kairu, walking away with that foil alternate art Everquill Phoenix and that World Fire uh, mythic right there. All right. Boom. Walking away with a Magus of the Bazaar. Walking away with a Words of Wilding. A Implement of Combustion. A Wildborn Charge. Borrowing 100,000 arrows. Sinews Vermin. Dark Slick Drake. And an Ulamog's Crusher. All right, there you go. Bald, it stands for Mr. Bald. That's right. Uh, a foil coalition honor guard and hey, a jund panorama. There you go, Kyra Kyra. Time to jund him out, friend. Go 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 over to, you know, yellow jacket when it opens up and jund him out and then all the LRR people will be like, "What? Come on, that's our thing." And then you'll be like, whatever, Mr. B told me to do it. And they'll be like, Mr. B, that Joker? And you'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, man, we wish we were cool, as cool as that guy. And I'll be like, that's right. Matthew W. Winning the grand prize this month. Walking away with a, so a souvenir snatcher in a mana crypt? Okay. All right. All right. You can't believe you got a Marsh Flats and that's your first fetch land? That's super rad, Ethan. Congratulations. We got an Abhorrent Overlord and a Stromkirk Occultist with a Ghostly Possession, a Aegis Autonom Automaton, Cathodian, G G Guide Globe. What is with all these artifacts? Creeping Trailblazer and a Nausea with a Foil foil Artifact Skyreach Manta and a Wirewood Lodge. Goes perfectly with all those non-green cards. Perfect. Wirewood launch goes perfectly with all those non-green cards. We got a Hallowed Burial. Great little card, actually. Two-Headed Dragon. Firewing Phoenix. Sultai Skullkeeper. Dread, uh, or Dead Reveler. Lightning Diadem. Plated Sea Strider. Skulking Knight. And why am I pulling another card from here? Have you ever pulled six commons or uncommons of the same color? Uh, one time we got close. Uh, I think it was a few months ago. We pulled, I think we pulled like five green cards and then pulled one red card at the very end. And I was like, come on, you ruined it. And it was like, it wasn't even just that. It was like two green rares and then like all green from the bulk pile. And then the last card was not green. And I was like, what? Come on. It's like, you ruined it. Because the universe wanted another artifact. It's true. It's true. All right. Foil. A sigil blessing. There you go. And your common or uncommon dollar more. Ooh, is a wear and tear for all those artifacts that you just that you just got in the last. You can now blow up your own artifacts, including your own mana crypt, if you want. See, there you go. Perfect. Perfect answer. Now you can blow up your mana crypt with your red white card that you wouldn't probably do that, but it, it, it's an option. It's an option. So, okay, out of all of that, we added 10 booster packs to the to the common uncommon pile. You saw me do it at the beginning of the video. Why are we putting ducks? Is he is it because he's a lucky duck? Is that why? Lucky duck and then duck 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 duck. duck. Um The only fetch land that likes you is Scalding Tarn. That's not a bad fetch land to have like you, though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's not a bad fetch land to have like you. I wish I was a duck. Is that is that because you want to be feathered and enjoy swimming a lot? And also you could fly um, and mate for life and um, swim, I guess. I guess I said that already, didn't I? Water? You just like water? Hmm? Is that it? Is that it? That would be awesome. Stuff. I don't. I know. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. I think the only problem I would have with being a bird is that you got a lot of predators as a bird. Birds have a lot of predators. You know what I'm saying? They've got a lot of predators. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, we've done all of the grab bags. Got there. Shove, shove, shove. Now it's time to do the bundles. Should I just do them on top of this? 
probably, eh? Oh, hey, you think? Don't do that. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. Woo! Get up, stretch my legs. Get up and stretch my legs. We need to get the bundle from over here. Yeah. All right, we got this one. Where did I put those other bundles? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, they're over there. Oh, uh, no, I've walked over here already. Oh, uh, no. The worst. Oh, there's one right here. All right, good. We'll get this one. Sweet. I knew I pulled one out, and then I had it here. Boom. Where, where are we? Here. Like here? There we go. Do the monster mash. Do the mash. It was a graveyard smash! They did the mash! Okay. Now, we also owe a bundle to one of our patrons, because we have 50 patrons again. Um, so, I'm going to do that, but it's going to be a separate video. Clear? Clear. Because we're we've been live for three hours now. I'm going to do the, the giveaway bundle for a patron as a separate video. Fair? Fair. I think that's fair. Okay. Um, we will do Jonathan's bundle first because it was up top. <laughs> that's it. That's the only reason. Jonathan's bundle was at the top, so we're doing it first. All right, that is just a box. Whatever that was that you tried to put in chat, it's just a box on my side. So I can't tell what it is. Toss! Toss! Look at that big green die. Toss! What is this? Just some lands? Also toss. Okay, and there's there's your there's your sweet Cherix and your foil lands. And there's your packs, and then uh, we can leave this box for now because we can go like this and be like, hey, here's Jonathan's grab bag and it's going to go in there like that. Um, and then that can go there for the moment and then that can go there for the moment. And then let's open these packs. It's the Italian hand. So the bundle giveaway includes all patrons being put in for a chance. So... The bundle giveaway is something that I'm doing where I'm giving away a bundle every month. As long as we're over 50 patrons, any patron at one of my magic tiers um, during that month who has not already won a bundle from this giveaway is eligible to win a bundle. Um, so we've already done two and those two people have had their names taken out. Um, so they've already won their bundles and they don't have a chance to win another bundle until we get through all of the other patrons. Um, so that way everyone has a chance to win a bundle is kind of the idea rather than it be random. And then sometimes one person wins, you know, like someone could win twice in a row or whatever. Um, I want to give everyone an opportunity, right? Well, I missed this stream. <laughs> yes. Yes, you did, Justin. <laughs> but we're doing the we're doing the bundles now. Um, for Jonathan and Devin and we've made it back to 50 patrons again so we will be pulling another bundle at some point uh, in the near future um, for one of our patrons who has not already won a bundle so I have to do that soon I guess I probably have to do it tomorrow um, so that I can get it mailed out like because I can't mail out any of these grab bags until I figure out who wins that bundle um, because I can't, if I mail out this, then they'd have to wait until January to get their bundle, which doesn't seem great to me. I don't like that plan. I don't like that plan. But anyway, um, Jonathan, you don't care about commons, right? You only care about the, if it's like the alternate art commons, right? Is that what I'm understanding? So we want to zoom in here. Well, that's too far. Take it back. No, no, we don't want zoom. We want focus. Focus. There we go. Okay. Is that good? Are we in shot? We got a, a roiling regrowth. We got a merfolk falconer. We got a vastwood fortification. And then we have a coveted prize as the first rare. Okay. And then a nice full art. And then a garbage, garbage card. 
Just, just a garbage card. Toss, toss. But yeah, um, Justin, we did a thing. We added some extra spice to the patron pulls uh, this month because it's holiday season, you know, and I like to do something special for my patrons in December. So we did something a little extra spicy. We did some collector's boosters of Ikoria, and then we added them as extras. So you still got a pull from the patron pile, and then you got an Ikoria collector's booster pull as well, in addition to your grab bag, or grab bags, depending. We got a Core Blade Master, a Taunting Arbor Mage, a Skyclave Cleric, and a Null Priest of Oblivion. A very good card. Ooh, Foil Forest. There you go. That's not too shabby. And a Mountain. We'll take it. We'll take a Foil Forest. Gotta eat a bunch of limes after this stream. I, you mean I do or you do? Why do you gotta eat limes? Are you telling me to eat limes because it'll help my throat? Is that what you're saying? Oh, because it's spicy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Grow Tag Night Runner, a Kite Sail Cleric, an Umara Wizard, and a Magmatic Channeler with another foil. Foil Marasa Sproutling. With another full art land, of course. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We've hit no alternate art cards so far. It's kind of weird. We got a thundering rebu rebuke relic axe, uh, bien bien veil, and a Nahiri's lithoforming with a plains. Two black rares, two red rares. All right. Can we get some mythics? Let's get some mythics. What what mythic do you need, Jonathan? What mythic do you want? Let me hear it. I want to put that juju out in the world so that we can make sure we summon it for you. Um, Blood Chief's Thirst. Great card. Shatter Skull Minotaur. Sajiri's Settler. And, ooh, Thieving Skydiver. Great commander card. This is a great commander card. Stealing people's artifacts? Yes, please. Yes, please. Little cat token. You need her? All right. Sweet. So yeah, the thieving skydiver is great. That's not nice. I mean, yeah, you say it's not nice, but it's great. <laughs> it's great for you as the player who's stealing things. Shadow Stinger. Uh, Relic Vile. Kazul's Fury. And, oh, okay. How about a Tazri? Did you want a Tazri? Because you've got a Tazri now. Uh, I know uh, my buddy Austin from Commander 99. If you're unfamiliar with Commander 99, you should go check out their channel. Uh, Austin's going to be putting up some new content uh, very soon here. Um, with most likely me included in it. Because I've been streaming with him quite a bit uh, for other games and things. Uh, he has strong opinions about this Tazri. Because she's not an ally. She is not an ally. Uh, there was a feed the swarm in the comments. Okay, let's let's go. Do you want your feed the swarms, Jonathan? Because it is a good card. I mean, it's black enchantment removal. It's not a thing that you get very often, right? Okay. I mean, black enchantment removal is pretty pretty rare right like it's not a thing that happens that often oh we did it finally got there found an alternate art uh we got a, a ravager's mace a lithoform blight black bay black bloom rogue i should say and you got a kazra royal chaser with a foil canopy bailoff and a mountain and a garbage card the card is gas. It is. It is gas. I agree. <laughs> it's very good in limited, too. Yeah. Feed the Swarm is very good in limited as well. We've got a Concerted Defense. We've got a Umara Mystic. Malakir Rebirth. And a Linvala. Shield of the Seagate. All right. Lots of uh, legendaries for you here, Jonathan. Out of this, out of this bundle. Lots of legendaries. Not a lot of uh, alternate arts, though. It's kind of not f not great. Uh, we've got a sure-footed infiltrator. We've got a Cargan war leader. 
We've got a Spike Field Hazard. And, oh, all right. We've got a Phylath World Sculptor in the alternate art. I've never even seen this card. So that's cool. We'll take it. I've never even seen this card. I actually want to build this deck. I want to build a commander deck around this guy. Seems really cool. Seems like a really cool thing to build around. Legend Dairy. You know, like the stuff you make cheese out of. Dairy. Very, you know, it's very uh, cowy in here. Right, that's what they say. Uh, Marasa Sproutling. Uh, Skyclave uh, Plunderer. Uh, Salindi Vision. And a Crag Plate Bailoth. This card's interesting. I've seen people playing this in the Mono Green Stompy deck. The problem I have with this card is, yes, it's a 6-6, and yes, if you kick it for 3, it comes in with 4-1-1, so it becomes a 10-10 with Hexproof and Haste, which is great. But if your opponent has any kind of chump blocking things, this does not have Trample. So you have to find a way to give it Trample, and if you don't, it just it's just a 10-10 that does nothing. <laughs> and yeah, it's big. It's big. Now, don't get me wrong. It's big. It's just the guy I the guy that played it against me played it, but like I had so much crap on the board that he could like there was nothing like it was like he swings it and I blocked it with like a one one that I don't care about. So it's like here I'll just throw this under the bus. And now your ten ten is tapped, and I don't care, right? Yeah, rancor. But like I'm talking in standard. Like a rancor is not in standard, right? The only way you can give this trample in standard right now is with uh, um, what's call it the um, the one from Ikoria, the gem razor. Right? You mutate it on, and then you get it. And then it becomes, uh, you know, a 10 time with Trample. Right? Great. And you got another foil here. You got a foil pressure point. So, I mean, like, you know, you, you, got, a, you got four foils. You got one Mythic. You got the Thieving Skydiver, which is pretty good. And one of your foils was a foil land, which is pretty nice. But you only got two alternate arts, which seems low to me. I don't know. Anyway, there you go, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your bundle this month. Uh, there's your common, there's your uncommons and your rares and your foils. And then there is your little uh, promo dude boy things. Um, and then you don't need any of this stuff. So it goes in here like this, like so. And then that goes just over here somewhere. I'll put it here for now. There. All right, Devin. Devin is next. So thank you, Jonathan, for your patronage. I greatly appreciate it. All right, Jonathan. Or, I mean, all right, Devin. You wanted M2020, right? This is what you wanted, was 2020? I'm not being crazy here. I've now just opened it, so I hope this is what you wanted. If I remember correctly. Okay, all right. Shove. All right. Now, Devin pays extra every month for his bundle so that he can have the die and the box shipped to him. So we've got to put these to the side because we're shipping everything to him. Uh, the only thing we're not shipping to you is this little pack of lands, right? Which you don't care about, I assume. This is just basic lands. There's nothing in it. This is the one that has the promos and the foils in it. So this is the one that you're going to get. Do you care about this? If not, then I'm just going to not include it because it's extra weight and the more weight I can pull off of shipping the cheaper it will be for me to ship to you that's it that's all I'm thinking all right you're getting it Omnath out of here was there an Omnath in core 2020 I don't think there was right All right, Devin, and you want all commons, uncommons, and everything, right? The only thing you don't care about is, like, the the, the ad cards. If you get a bath, you'll lose it. The Teamer Omnath is in here? Autocorrect is rude. I was wondering, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Omnath of the Royal. All right. 
Okay, anyway. We can pass. If you get an Omnath, you'll, you'll, you'll lose it, is what you're saying? Okay, so we've got a Scuttlemutt. Scuttlemutt. And a Master Splicer. And a Cryptic Caves. And Masterful Replication as the first one. With a Rugged Highlands and an Elemental Token. All right. I can't believe they printed two Omnaths so close together. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I mean, like, Core 2020 is not that close to Zendikar, but, like, it's not a... It's only a year apart, right? I'm assuming you don't care about the commons, like, to look at them. I mean, I'm still going to ship them to you, but, like, I'm assuming you don't care to look at them. Uh, we've got an Ancestral Blade, Herald of the Sun, Wolf Rider's Saddle, and a Leyline of the Void. Well, it's not a bad little Leyline. Um, Leyline of the Void is a very good card. And I'm assuming you don't need basics. Okay. Perfect. I appreciate you allowing me to skip the commons here because if I had to read them all out, my voice would be completely gone by the time we were done this. Uh, we've got a Rule of Law. Great little card as well. And a Risen Reef. Another great little card. This was a standout in Standard when this set was in Standard. Captivating Gyre. And an Elvish Reclaimer. An interesting little card. Um, and then you've got... Is it, you've got a foil here, but this is a block. Why is the foil behind the land? Weird. I don't know why. Okay, you got a foil boreal elemental. I don't know why it was behind the land. Safety first, Mr. B. What, like this? Ah! My finger! Let me go get my goggles and my safety gloves, all right? If I'm going to be using a knife, i got to be wearing my, my leather gloves, my safety goggles. Uh, we've got a Moldervine Reclamation. Great little card. We've got a Veil of Summer. There you go. That's the uncommon, right, that everybody wants. Isn't this, like, worth a couple bucks still? I would say this is worth a couple bucks still. That's a nice little uncommon to hit. Lightning Stormkin. And, oh, how about a Vivian Arcbow Ranger? There you go. Yeah, who wanted their cards signed in blood again? Uh, basic lands you don't care about. Okay. Boom! Veil of Band. It's still worth money, though, right? Because it's banned. Like, where is it banned? It's banned in in uh, Modern? Is that where they banned it? Or is it banned everywhere now? I don't remember where it's banned. But isn't it? It's still worth money, though, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Veil of Summer? Yeah, it's still an $8 card. Veil of Summer is an $8 uncommon. <laughs> Just so we're clear. That Veil of Summer is probably worth more than this Vivian. What is this? Vivian? Arcbow? Yeah, v Vivian is $4. Veil of Summer is eight bucks. <laughs> that uncommon is worth twice the price of Vivian. That uh, that Veil of Summer is two Vivians. You could sell that Veil and buy two Vivians, right? That's how that works. Well, it doesn't not really how that works, but it's how it could work if you were to sell it for face value. Loyal Pegasus, Manifold Key, and we've got a Yarox Wave Crasher with a Villus Broker of Blood. So it's a eight eight four seven or no for eight flying that says pay a black or pay a black and pay two life target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn whenever you lose life draw that many cards so you pay two life draw two cards give something minus one minus one you got a swift water clips and you got a foil scholar of the ages veil vale is two planeswalkers that's right that's the conversion rate. How many planeswalkers is this is this uncommon? That's what I want to know. That's what I always that's that information that I always strive for. Did we get the oh we didn't get the misprint. Corpse Knight with the 2-3, two, not the 2-2, two, two, right? Or is it supposed to be a 2-2? Two, two? Is this the misprint? Is it it's not supposed to be a 2-3, right? It's supposed to be a 2-2? Two, two? Is that is that the one? Supposed to be a 2-2, two, two, right? Yeah, this is the misprint. That's sweet. I actually have never even seen one. So there you go. 
you got a misprint corpse knight. I've never seen one in, in, in person. So this is the misprint corpse knight, which is not a two, three. It's actually a two, two. And for some reason it made it through the printer as a two, three. Yeah, you got the better version. So, but just remember if you play with this card, it is technically a two, two, not a two, three. So you have to be, uh, so it could use it as a two, three, right? No. So that's the problem is you can't use it as a two, three because it's not a two, three. So it makes it very confusing to play with, but it is a misprint, which means it's highly sought after by misprint community members and stuff like that. Um, we got an uncaged fury. We got an overcome. And then you've got a Chandra's Regulator, which is the promo card that came in here. See? Now you've got both copies. Regular Chandra's Regulator and then the promo Chandra's Regulator. And then you've got a Swamp and a Soldier Token. Bada. Are you, are you saying bada like badass? Because you can type the whole word out. If you want. I mean, I'm not going to like... I don't think YouTube will be like, How dare you say the word ass? Uh, Salvager of Ruin. Uh, gruesome Scourger. Or sc yeah, Scourger. Yeah. yeah. And Thra Thrashing Brontodon. Great little card. Oh, and you got a Temple of Mystery. A Temple of Mystery. A forest and a Foil. Foil Goblin gir Bird Grabber. Good old bird grabber. We're rated G for good and B for best. Ethan knows what's up, see? Ethan knows what's up. All right, we got a God's Willing. Great little card. Uh, and then we've got a Unchained Berserker. A Scholar of the Ages. And a Ley Line of Anticipation. Okay, I mean, like... So explain to me out there, everyone in chat, are those two ley lines, the ley line of the void and the ley line of anticipation, are those the two best ley lines out of this set? Because I think they are. Uh, and I could be wrong. I mean, the green ley line is okay, but I don't think it's like particularly amazing. The blue one and the black one are the best two, I think. Uh, we've got Apostle of Purifying Light. We've got Gruesome Scrouger, uh, Scourger again. We've got Ogre Siegebreaker and... Tails End. Tails End's a great card. I love this card in Commander because it's a two mana counter spell that counters an activated ability, a triggered ability, or a legendary spell. So it's great in Commander because it's two mana to counter their Commander. Uh, so it's very easy to leave up and just be like a counter thing, and they're like, ah, poop. You've retreat, ret returned briefly with coffee. You were so close, Kairu Kairu. You were you were second. You were, you were the second last person we pulled off the patron pile. And then you got a foil dagger sail Aerionaut. So close. You were right there. It was like you could taste it, except that you couldn't taste it because you weren't here. But I was here for you, and I could taste it. It was close. It was very close. One of these days. <laughs> One of these days. We got a season of growth. We've got a renowned weaponsmith. We've got an ember hauler. And do we want do we want to see do we want to slow roll it? It's a rare. So it's not Omnath, right? Because Omnath is a mythic, right? It's only a rare. It's a creature too, because it's got a power and toughness. It is white, and it costs three. What do we think? It is a 1-1 one, one for 3 mana. Anyone? Guesses? It's a Hanged Executioner. It's actually not a bad little card. This rare is great. Um, it's solid in any kind of white control deck. Um, it's a 1-1 one, one flyer for 3 that makes a 1-1 one, one when it comes in. So it's actually making 2 power and toughness. Uh, when it comes into play. And then you can exile it to exile target creature for four mana. So it's just like a body with an exile effect. That leaves behind another spirit when it comes into play. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. 
All right. There you go, Devin. That is your, uh, you know, uh, bundle for this month. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're going to put your commons and your uncommons here, like so. No Omnath, but still very good. I mean, yeah, you got one of the you got one of the temples, you got a Vivian, and you got the two best ley lines in the set, the Void and the Anticipation, right? Uh, and then the Tail's End is just a solid counterspell. So I mean, like, and the Hanged Executioner is a very good rare, and you got four foils. So there's that. Uh, four foils, not too bad. Do you want these tokens, Devin? I think you I think you do want them, right? If I remember correctly. And a Veil of Summer, yeah. I mean, you got the you got the rare uncommon, right? That's how that's, that's, how, that's how that works, right? Okay, so that all goes in there like that, and then there's your die like so, and then we put this box back together like so. Bam. And then we grab the lid from this one, and we go, hey, it's Jonathan's stuff. Let's put Jonathan's stuff back into its box like this. There we go. Boom. Look at that. It, yeah, we checked it. It's nine. It's 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 eight bucks American. So ten dollars Canadian sounds about right. Yeah. Whoo, boy, howdy. We done now, folks. We done. It's been a two, three and a half hours of streaming. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you out there um, who watch, who like, who subscribe. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being an amazing community. I really appreciate all of you. You're all amazing. Thank you for putting up with me on hiatus at the moment, uh, of only doing a few videos a week. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Um, I will be back to some sort of content in the new year, most likely. Um, it won't be as much as I was doing, but it will be more than what I'm doing now. Um, and just thank you for your support, right? I wouldn't keep doing it if it wasn't for all of you. So I really appreciate you being here. And uh, I look forward to the new year and doing things, um, doing a few different things. And hopefully the th some of the stuff I've talked about in the past that I've wanted to do with you, my patrons, will come to fruition. Like maybe EDH games with patrons and that kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to doing some of that stuff. And I'm looking forward to maybe scheduling some games for weekends where we can play and we can record and we can release the video on the YouTube. Um, so that way the patrons can play and then also be part of the community on the channel itself. Um, so stay tuned for that because that's what thing I'm looking into to get set up and get it figured out so that it, basically you don't have to do anything but show up. Have a camera that can shoot your desktop and that's all you really need. And then, of course, some sort of microphone or headset for your audio so that you can speak to us uh that's about it right um so as long as you have those things um it should be fine right and i mean even if the games don't record well enough that we can put them up on youtube we can at least play and have fun together and that's kind of the plan right would love to whoop you that's fine i'm fine with that just remember, everybody, that uh, I am a super casual player, um, so I don't take things super seriously. So if you come in and just whoop me, I'm just going to laugh about it. <laughs> I'm just going to laugh about it. And I'll be like, man, you whooped me. And people will be like, yeah, I whooped you. And I'll be like, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't really do anything. My deck did nothing that whole game, um, which is what most of my decks do. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. It's been three and a half an hours. I've got to go and get some sort of liquid for my throat because holy moly, my throat is like drier than dry right now from all the talking. I don't know if you can hear my voice and how raspy it is now. I feel like I'm like, you know, gonna lose my voice here. I'm just gonna talk like this from now on because this is how dry my throat is. And this is just what I sound like now because that's what's happened. So I hope you all enjoy the new Mr. B coming at you live from this place this is how it is now don't worry it won't be like that i hope but needless to say happy holidays to all of you out there if you don't celebrate anything don't worry about it just enjoy your december remember we're all in this together stay safe keep on keep your masks on 
try to limit who you visit for the holidays. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Just do your best to keep yourself safe. There are a lot of things you can do um, to keep to visit with family and stuff safely. Um, so just make sure you practice those methods if you're going to be visiting. Um, you know, keep your masks on, stay six feet apart. If you can't manage that, then at least go get your COVID tests uh, prior to visiting with each other. Once you get the results that you're all negative, feel free to meet each other, right? Uh, and not worry. Um, but just remember, it's not. You know, I haven't had it. I haven't had any brushes with it yet. But I, I would absolutely destroy myself if I went to a family gathering for the holidays and gave my loved ones COVID and then they, you know, passed away or had hard times living after the fact because of my, you know, uh, incompetence basically. Um, so anyway, sorry to be heavy at the end of the night. Just enjoy your holidays, everybody. Enjoy December. Have yourself a wonderful time. Uh, stay safe. You know, and just remember that we're in this together and that if we don't if we don't treat each other the way we ourselves would like to be treated, we'll never be in a better place. Right. That's it. That's the best way to, to put it, in my opinion. So anyway, what is this weird? What is this weird? And that's OK. That's fine. Yeah. I'm out of here. I gotta update the I gotta update the credit scene. So let's do let's do that. Let's do that. Right? We're gonna move we're gonna move this up here. Uh, move this to here like so. Okay, there we go. Right? Everyone can see this now. I'm gonna bring my keyboard over here now that you can't see it. Ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Alright. Who needs to be in here that we don't have in here already? Uh we need the properties of the no, not that. Oh, not, not that. We want this. Properties of this. Okay. Who needs to be in here that's not in here already? Uh, we've got Sebastian Damon. We need Corbin. Okay. Corbin. Corbin goes in here. Uh, who else is missing? I feel like somebody else is missing. Ethan. Ethan is missing. We need to add Ethan. Bam. There we go. Look at that. Ethan's here now. And I think I have to remove some folks as well. But I'll worry about that later. There you go. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Enjoy yourselves. And if Akihiko is out there anywhere, uh, if you're still out there in chat, let me know if you want your your credit change from TCG value hunter to Akihiko. I'm more than happy to change it for you. Just let me know. Okay. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I've been your host with Rivers and don't forget as always, may your pulls, your pulls, everyone out there, all your pulls, may they ever be better. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. <laughs>